Hello. Hello. So, it's so it dark. Now? Why is it so dark? Uh, because this light is going out. Ah. Ah. Yeah. All right. But, uh, oh, wow. We're, uh, what's Ooh. going on there? Ooh. Oh, the internet's Fender. not doing so great. What's, uh, mm. uh are we going to stabilize? Stabilize. Mm. Stable. Stable. Mm. Oh, we're dropping frames like crazy. That's not good. So many drop frames. Uh, we are we are thirty percent drop frames right now. That's, that's great. Not good at all. No, that's really good. Yeah, I hope everybody out there's enjoying the chop. Yeah, chop chop chop. chop. So it looked like this wasn't gonna be a fire, and, and now then like showed up. five people showed up. <laughs> oh, I know. We need to. Uh, fuck, we need to get all everybody's. Are those giveaways? Uh, some of them. Um, I mean, this is all we're giving away tonight, and we need to take the sleeves out. Shiny. I know, I know. But I, I want that. No, that's mine. I love that card. <laughs> I do too. I do too. But it's gonna be in the deck. I, but, I wish uh, I got the judge promo. The bro, judge promo is awesome. I haven't seen it. It's I've in not, the old border. I haven't seen it. We're talking about uh, Crucible, Crucible World. Worlds. Everybody. Uh, and I kind of want to just uh, restart the stream. Um, just, like unplug and replug. Uh, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Uh, let's see. So, how is stream quality? Because maybe, maybe it's just, uh... Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah, because we're still sitting at, like, 30% drop frames right now, which is not good. And I'd rather try to fix this before, uh... Round one gets underway. Yeah, before round one gets underway. Um, seems okay, but there's definitely a few frames dropping. Yeah. All right, guys. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, this is a, this is a terrible opening anyway. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to fix this really quick, and we'll be back in like uh, shit. I don't know. Uh, two three minutes All before right. the round starts. So we'll be right back, guys. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, and I'd rather. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, we are back. Okay. So, it looks like the internet's just a little, uh, little wonky donkey right now. But, um, yeah, we're up. We're good. We've got, uh, we do have a pretty cool giveaway today. Uh, it's a play set of uh, Japanese Baleful Strix. And uh, since we're getting a little bit of a late start here, let me just, there we go. Look at this. My best uh, Vanna White impression. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So, uh, but yeah, let me, uh, Paul, how are you doing? How you doing, Paul? So uh, let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the booth off. Um, and uh, we're going to go here. So, guys, sorry for any of the frames dropping. It seems to be a Comcast problem, uh, not necessarily us. So, we got with, with Bob Agra versus... Uh, versus uh, Kevin Kingsley. What deck is Bob on? He's on Strawberry Shortcake. Strawberry... Or, so he says. Shortcake. I mean, it's just, it's just red-white. Yeah. All right. And so, um, Bob Agra. All right, Bob Agra... Okay. Yeah, so it's just it's the internet. It's their yeah. internet, which sucks. Uh, he's got to be on dredge, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, right. Phil's playing Storm, so he's not borrowing Storm. Uh, Kevin uh, King. Sweet. <sighs> What's his name? Right? Is that how? Uh, King. Ellie Y. Ellie Y? Yeah. All right. I'm pretty sure. We need to get we need to get a printout for yeah. next round or whatnot. But um, yeah, okay, so they're All both right. one on one. And so we have two lands players, two bug players, uh, Pox, Sharpness, right. uh, Storm, and Goblins. Storm and Goblins. Yeah. Oh, fun. Uh, unfortunately, I could not remember the kid's name who's playing Goblins at all. Uh, it's the uh, it's Cumberbatch, the Cumberbatch guy. Not Cumberbatch. Uh, <laughs> God, he's always he's always on Doomsday. Why can't yeah. I? Yeah. Um, it's Peter's friend. Yeah. 
Kevin Micklem, thank you for following. Much All appreciated. Right. I'm gonna go run this back to. Uh, okay, you do that. Things I've realized I just stole. I'm gonna talk. Ah. <laughs> uh, all right, <laughs> so we said the Cephal Coliseum followed by careful study uh, from Kevin here. Uh, so Kevin's going to draw a couple cards and he's going to discard a couple cards. I imagine he's going to be discarding some dredgers. Uh, he's going to go down to 19, though, for tapping that uh, Coliseum for some, for some mana. Mi mana. Um, and uh, guys in chat, I apologize. I can't really watch it right now, but Chuck will be back in a second. He'll be able to answer your questions. But it looks like two Stinkweed Imps going in the yard. Um, Bob going to do some things and just Blood Moon. All right, so Pedal coming down for Bob, and then City Traders, and then a Blood Moon. Sometimes it happens. Which, not super great against Dredge. Uh, I mean, it shuts off a Cephalic Coliseum, which is good. But he's going to go ahead and pick up a Stinkweed Imp here and Dredge uh, 5. Yep. Uh, looks like he's going to get a Narcan Beeper trigger and a bridge in the yard. Anything else relevant down there? Uh, Faithless Looting. Faithless Looting, but he's going to need two more land, which isn't going to do a and ton. He's got, at least, he's got two in hand. Uh, Strawberry Shortcake is Red White Painter. Yep. Red White Painter. Um, which apparently that's what it's actually called. Yes. I did not realize this, uh, but I was corrected. And now I know. Um, and so were there two bot decks? Uh, bug decks. Two, Two bug, bug decks. decks. Yes. Okay. Well, technically three because one shardless. Uh, okay. You, oh my God! You have no idea. Tez needs. Yeah, Tez does need those. I yeah. kind of want to win these. I'm not gonna lie. Can I? I, I am so happy we're giving these away because they're one of my favorite cards to come out in the last like two years. Oh, I am too. Oh, we're missing stuff. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> he dredged off his uh, Faithless Hooting and got two Narcan Oh, okay. Well, one was from the draw for the turn. One was from the Narcan Yeah, from the... Okay. Yeah. There we go. Uh, Bob uh, Bob needs to do something. He needs to do something yeah, pretty quick. Yeah, this is a really good start for Dredge. Uh, hasn't hit a you know, and, Cabal Therapy yet, so... And, and I'm looking at his hand. It looks like he had a Magus of the Moon in hand. I would have led with that. Just to give him something on the board that he could possibly trade with a token to then get rid of the bridges. Uh, do we know if he's running bolts or is he only running swords and uh, pyroblasts? That I do not know. Because if it, if that was the case, I would actually have led with the with the Magus as well. So and so he's gonna exile Simeon Spirit Guide to pyroblast one of his one of Kevin's Narcomibas, and he's gonna get what one triggers? So he's one gonna put trigger. one yep. one zombie in there. Um, and uh, as to buy, the giveaway is a playset of... Uh, Japanese uh, sh Baleful Strikes. Baleful Strikes, yep. So it's good things. Good yep. things. Uh, so. He's dredging again for his turn. Looks like he's using a Glazari Grave Shoal for that and hit another bridge. Uh, two Lion's mm -hmm. Eye, a Glazari Thug, a Careful Study. Uh, finally hits the Cabal Therapy. Uh, has his third land, so he can flash back a Faithless Looting. I don't even know. I mean, he'll probably fl sack the Narcabiba in order to... Uh... Um, I imagine he'll attack first. Yeah. I'm just... Uh, oh, and two Icarids hitting the yard and, and another... a third bridge. Yeah, yeah. so you're, he's, we're definitely probably going to see a... Uh... I assume he'll name Painter with this... Uh, with uh, this I think he's just going to target himself. Uh, if he hit a second one, I don't think he has. Bob's, Bob has one land right now. Yeah. So, I mean, like, he's not... And, I mean, obviously, he, Bob is, like, pretty desperate if he's pyroblasting... If he's pitching Simeon Spirit Guide to pyroblast an Archimeda, that tells me that Bob has very little going did he, on. Did he kill the Archimeda in the upkeep? Uh, end of his turn, I believe. So I'm, I'm just wondering why the zombie token didn't attack. Oh. And Bob's going to scoop it up there to... Uh, Oh, that's good. Maybe, maybe it was. Uh... Pretty sure it was during the upkeep. Yeah, we'll, uh, uh, Christian, we'll, we'll, we'll show the giveaway again on camera uh, yeah. after this match when we bring it back to the booth. Uh, Bob's definitely bringing rest in peace. Do you think he does? I don't think you bring in rest in peace. I've already seen him put it aside. I don't. I'm. Just... If I was him, I'd actually consider that Turner Sphere. Uh, yeah, I would too. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. good in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, Turner Sphere is good against Dredge. I yeah. mean, just anything that can, kind of. Make them do some stuff. That Iona is going to be pretty good. Iona is very good against uh, two color decks or less. I mean, I guess it's not going to be like stupidly amazing against um, uh, against Bob. Like, I mean, it yeah. shuts off a lot of the tutors, but that's about that's probably going to be about it. 
Um, oh, look it up and. Uh, but then, yeah, Christian. I mean, that makes that actually makes sense. But uh, but then you're missing out on Akon's run. And uh, Akon's run <laughs> is like a an unglued cube all star. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that's all I'm saying. Yeah. But I guess this makes a little bit more sense for the to yeah. actually show. Actually, we should probably show relevant cards for the match currently. Yeah. Such as, such as the cards that bring in. Like, some people might not know what Recipes does. Uh, so Bob won the first game there. Yeah. Bob, uh, no, he did not. Bob oh, no, totally sorry. Lost Bob lost game. the first game because he scooped it up to Kevin. I was thinking scoop. <laughs> yeah. I was, I scooped it up. Um, yeah, so we should show... Uh, yeah. We should actually, like... I been using this i think less than anybody else and I'm i can take care of that all right you take care of that i am perfectly capable of doing all this stuff all right so sweet. so i'll just dl a whole bunch and then i'll let you uh you handle uh handle right. the so shit. here's the rele relevant card that bob's bringing in uh it exiles all graveyards when it comes to play and then all cards that would go to graveyards are exiled instead uh this is absolutely devastating for dredge then unless they have a bounce effect or an abrupt decay, they literally cannot beat the card. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good thing to have a ley line come down. Yes. Uh, I imagine Kevin's going to be bringing in I, some ley lines. I imagine... Or, excuse me, um, some abrupt decays. Uh, he will probably be bringing in abrupt decay. Uh, or, um, I've seen him do this in the combo matchup a lot. He's probably just bringing in... Uh, Lotus Petal? Yes, he's probably just bringing in Lotus Petals to try to go faster. Sure. Okay. I mean, do, you're going to have to get... Uh, Nature's Claim does get RIP as well. Yeah. I don't know if Kevin's on Nature's Claim. I don't I, think he runs it anymore. I, I think, think he's, he's on Abrupt Decay. Abrupt Decay. Yeah. I know he was running it a bit uh, when Tezzerator was big around here. Okay, sure. Because that ran four main board ley lines and he could not beat the deck. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's rough. <laughs> That's rough. It's, it's always rough when Dredge has a bad game one. <laughs> uh, Paul chiming in. This is why everybody should play Force of Will and Dredge. Uh, I, I, I like it. I you know like what? It. I don't think you have enough blue cards, and the blue cards you're exiling no, are probably no, no. better than Force no, of Will. No, 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 I like it. I like it. Asmon, how are you doing? That's a weird... That's a sassy lady. That is a, Yeah. I think that's Nicki Minaj? That's okay. a Nicki Minaj Kappa. Good. Uh, did we ever get the Thopter list? The Thopter list from yesterday's Modern, I'm assuming. Um, was there a list running Thopter assembly? Oh, it was pretty cool. It was I like sort of Mika's band. It so. was like Thopter eggs. It was, oh, that's awesome. It was pretty cool. Is it running Fates Award? Uh, no. Because I, I currently I don't think so. I, I currently don't, have I a uh, Esper Tiny Leaders deck um, that runs Thopter Sword, and it also has Second Sunrise in it, and it's fantastic. <laughs> Fair enough. Um... And uh, so, Tim, basically what happened is Kevin started doing some good things. Bob scooped him up. Bob, Kevin made uh, eight power on turn three. Yeah, Bob didn't have much going on. And so Bob was just, stuck on one land. Yeah, it just happens. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, uh, let's see. So there Whoa, was another... Right here, what the heck is uh, so, uh, Brain Dead Wolf, I will do my... Um, I will do my damnedest. To uh, to find that list, I'll get in touch with Ryan and see mm -hmm. what they're going, what's going on, um, because I think he just, I think he was supposed to email it to us or something. He doesn't have a Facebook, so it was a little tough there. Um, I, but I guess he didn't stay around for anyone doesn't have a Facebook nowadays. It happens, but it looks like the matches, the match is happening. Um, so, and again, guys, if you're just tuning in, uh, apologize for the choppiness. Uh, blame Comcast. Yep. Blame Comcast. Much like blame Canada. Blame Comcast. Why are we blaming Canada? Because South Park. Oh. This is 10 years ago. Sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, comes into play, shuffle cards from your hand into your library and then draw that many cards? It was Wolf Hole Rider. It was a suggested sideboard Wolf thing for Why is this things up? to pitch to Force of Will. Uh, so we're hearing four... Okay, so not four mana. <laughs> All right, so he goes... Uh, turn one, uh, Imperial Recruiter for Painter. Yep. Seems good. Excellent. So he, City of Traders, Exiling Something in Spirit Guide, also playing Petal. I guess playing around Days... Uh, but just I, he <laughs> might have a second Simeon Spirit Guide in which to play it immediately. Uh, I did not see it in his hand. It looks like he just passed the turn. Um, so, all right, that's a pretty good start. I didn't see in his hand whether or not he actually has. Um, 
Yeah, I don't yeah. quite know if he actually has the grindstone. In it. Oh, he does. All right, so, so this is a, easily a turn two kill if he has a way to. Yeah, but well, turn not... one ball therapy is really good. Yeah. So okay, and of course he yeah. saw the Painter Servant just go to hand. Painter Servant going to hit the yard. Uh, so he has a second Imperial recruiter to go get another one. True. Um, he still and... needs another land though. Yeah, Kevin's going to go down to uh, nineteen here though from uh... from his uh, mana confluence. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which is strictly better than City of Brass. You know what I should do? I should get, like, two keyboards and two mice. Yeah. Uh, oh! Or, if this was a touch screen. That's why they're saying Whirl, uh, Whirlpool Rider. Yeah. Ah, got it. Got it. All right. Uh, this has a pretty relevant effect. Because I guess Force of Will is actually a thing in Dredge, and at that point they run Whirlpool Rider. Yeah. That's weird. All right. Anyway, um, all right. Breaking his lotus petal for a welder. For a welder. Oh, that, that makes sense. So if he rips a land, Bob wins. Uh, not necessarily. Bob wins in two turns if he rips a land. Uh, no. If he rips a land, uh, and it, if Kevin doesn't do anything, passes back to Bob. Bob rips a land. You put the me you put grindstone trigger on the stack. Yeah. And then you, and you weld, weld away out. grindstone, and then you get back painter servant. Um, at which point. When their ability resolves, everything is one color. Yeah. So Bob just needs a land or a lotus petal or a Simeon Spear Guide, anything. He's got a lot of outs. Yeah. Kevin Kevin needs to do something. He's going to go down to 17 a, a here, though. Decay, looks like? Yeah. Uh, no. Ancient Grudge. Ancient Grudge? All right. That's what I meant. That's not, that's not terrible. All right, yeah. so that kind of fucks that plan a little bit. It really nerfs the Welder, because Welder yeah. has nothing to do right now. Uh, modern guy is going to watch Legacy. All right, Diesel. Thank you. We appreciate it. You modern's, get to come in. Modern's real cool, but it ain't got nothing on Legacy. Yeah, Legacy's better. <laughs> just gonna so, just gonna put that out there. So uh, I always love when Welder gets to beat down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know that old that old recruiter yeah. Welder beat down. Uh, <laughs> when I was playing Grixis Painter, I remember I had a match on camera with Bob Wang. And he was playing Storm, and I just beat him down with Welders and uh, Imperial Recruiters. Sometimes you gotta beat him down. Yeah. Just gotta, just gotta, just just gotta, gotta get like... in there. Uh, it turns out Kevin does have Nature's Claims. Oh, he does? Yeah, he okay. has one in his hand right now. Right, so I guess we can... No, I'm dead serious, though. I'm gonna get two... I'm gonna get another keyboard and mouse. That way, there's one here and one there. Yeah. So as long as people aren't fucking themselves, that it should be, be good. Ah, uh, no, nah, it's all right. Spike Mo, hope you're having a good time. So we're just gonna see a flashback of Cabal therapy here. To uh, discard. Yep, his... targeting himself. Uh, getting too stink weighted lines in the yard. So the rough part here is that the jig is up on the nature's claims. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah. Because I mean, like Bob now has to deal with two instances of. I mean, he's got to get through the ancient grudge. That's, ancient grudge is in the yard and a nature's claim in Kevin's hand. Yeah. So well, I mean, like that's not. Uh, no small trinkets. And Kevin's life isn't really in danger. He's still on like a... This is a... million turn, turn clock. Yeah. Um, Did not hit anything super relevant off the... Uh, Dread Return is in the yard. Dread Return's in the yard, but yeah. no Narcobivas, no Icarids, no uh, additional Cabal Therapies. <laughs> so he's just going to hard cast a Golgari Thug. Why not? It, it does it, things. Yeah, it, clears, it puts the Narcobiva back on top when uh, it dies. Yeah. Which is which is fine because you're going to dredge it away, yep. and it's going to Drain probably with, take probably take out the welder if the welder swings. Welder's not going to swing. Yeah. Anymore. I would hope not. Now this is a good play. Ooh, that's big. Yeah. All right. So uh, Thorn of Amethyst, Chuck, if you want to you want to do the honors. You do that. You do that thorny. You do thorny. You. I don't fuck it. I don't. Not creature know spells cost one more. Yep. Uh, super relevant in this matchup. And uh, if Dredge is casting their creatures, they're not exactly following their game one. Their plan A. Yes. Yeah. Um. So Bob just didn't swing in at all. Uh, Makes sense. He's wise to that Narcobiba play. Yeah. Um. Getting. I back. mean. This isn't like I mean honestly though Thorn of Amethyst now that I'm actually looking at this isn't the worst right now, just because Kevin does have mana. He has mana. He doesn't need to use it anymore for the rest uh -huh. of the game. Um, uh, besides for the flashback of Ancient Grudge and the Nature Claim. Yeah, or Faithful Saluting. Um, but it, it does make it hard for him to do multiple t things in a turn. Sure. 
sure. So, I mean, if Kevin gets another land, then he can Faithless loot. He can flashback Faithless looting and then He can discard return this turn, but there's nothing good for him to do that with. Yeah. He can get a Grave Troll, but it would be a really small oh, Grave, grave troll. troll. Yeah, probably not worth it. Um, He's going to weld out the... Oh, it, okay, so at the end of Kevin's yeah. turn... Um, all right, so... So the way yep. Welder works is that both targets still have to be legal by the time it resolves for it to actually do anything. Yep. So in order to kill the correct thing, uh, Kevin actually could have just done that at another point. Yeah, which, which is fine. So he doesn't respond to the ability. If Graveyard Order mattered at all in Bob's deck, that would fuck with it. A little bit, but it, yeah. it, it doesn't. So... We're going to see a top. Uh, he's going to tap, make two mana. One of the mana is going to be used to play the top. The other mana is going to be used to actually top. So last week I let Bob know of a fancy trick with top, where yep. you uh, tap it and then weld it. What? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you just draw a card. Yep. Yeah. That's nice. He was not aware of that trick. Oh, no. How did I... What did I just do? You popped out the chat. Oh, that's terrible. I don't yeah. want that. <laughs> come back, chat. Come back in here. You come back in here. You go away. Uh, you go back. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think chat froze because all nobody right. had said anything for a while. And I know our chat's a little bit more. Oh, look at this. Look at yep, this. He's, he's doing, doing that fancy things. technique. You're getting back painter servant. Yep. All right. I imagine he's going to be naming blue. Yes. Yeah, it goes at the it turns bottom. on those red blasts. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, got one red blast. Okay. He's still lacking any way to actually cast non colorless spells. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spike Mo. There we go. So, guys, if you guys said anything in chat in the last like couple minutes, yeah, uh, you got no idea what the fuck you said. Yeah. So, uh, come back. Tell me what you said. Maybe I'll respond. Maybe I'll give you a little winky wink of dinky dink and a hinky hink. All That's right. right. Yeah. Uh, Kevin's dredging his. Uh, uh, is it off the great troll? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It hits another so, second Dark Amoeba. and another bridge. Still nothing worth dread returning. No, but so I mean, like the two the two bridges is relevant. Yeah. Um, because I mean, he could make. If I am I'm Kevin right now, I think I flash back to ball therapy, and take uh, Bob's recruiter. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, it's easily the most get out of jail free card in Bob's hand that he knows of. Yeah, uh, but you you also saw Bob activate a top there, like. So maybe, well, I guess he did get a painter servant back, so I'm like... Well, you know he didn't get a land. <laughs> you sure. You know he didn't get a load of spell. Whoop. All right, Bob's going to go down to 19, though, from that Narcan Beavis swing. Um, I actually think he's at 18. I think he's taken two hits from the Narcan Has he taken two hits yeah. from Narcan Beavis? We can right. leave that at 19 for now. Nah, we'll put yeah. it down to 18. Whatever. If, if Kevin's going to win, it's going to be in big. Yeah. It's going to be big. Uh, a lot of people said they hated you, Mark, and they love Tyler a hundred times more. Well, yeah. I mean, that's that's probably true. So, uh, Kevin getting his two zombies, and let's see who he Oh, he flashed back. He sacrificed the thug. Yeah. And he put, I assume, a Narcomeba on top. Uh, is there another Cabal Therapy in the, in the yard that he can... No, there's just Nickerid. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm trying to think how... He's got nothing left with flashback besides two fatal suitings. Oh, but Bob's tapped out. So yeah. now is the time to nature claim. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now is very much the time to nature claim. Well, I mean, Bob of... gets to play two artifacts next turn. Uh, if he draws a one cost one. I forgot that yeah. the uh, top is in the graveyard now. Hmm. Is that a ancient tomb? Oh, so Bob has all the yeah. mana. He yeah, just... yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bob is going to win next turn unless Kevin does something. Yeah, he has to nature claim this turn. So, all right, so we're seeing two, all right. He is dread returning, getting So he'll end up getting another zombies couple of zombies. Yep. yep. There we go. All right. And looks like he's targeting an Icarid. Okay. All right. I think he's just trying to make as many zombies as possible this turn. Yeah, all yeah. right. And then... But that that still doesn't do anything? Kevin... Uh, this is lethal, though. Like, if he gets to untap... Okay. 
Oh, sure, 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 yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. If he gets to untap all these, it's lethal. And, okay, and I don't think Bob... Can Bob play? No, uh, no Bob, he still Bob can. Bob goes to 27. Okay. Or, uh, sorry, not 27, 22. Uh, he's an 8. Oh, okay, yeah, you're Major right. Claim. 22, and, and then... Kevin goes to 10. Kevin... Kevin, uh, Kevin Bob issue of... Uh, oh, Simeon Spirit Guide? Spirit. Yeah. Actually, Bob can win? Uh, Bob still does win. I think he just yeah. does win. Uh, and apparently Spike Mo, Lolly Pipper, Lolly, Lolly Pop Liquor, uh, being what, a, uh, that's, that's what we're getting to find out there. Uh, Nature's Clean is an instant. I feel like you should have held the gun on that. Um, no, because he had the, um... I mean, you just, you killed the, well, you killed the painter in, uh, with the ability you saw on the stack. Yeah, but he has Red Blast. So he can't do that, because it, Red he Blast had, just counters it. So, like, that was the issue there. All right, except so... Except he had no mana. Like, Kevin saw his hand and saw no source of red. Yeah, but like, do you he, really... he drew a uh, Samuel Spear Guide for the turn. Sure. Like, I guess, I guess you could do it in your in their upkeep before they draw. I mean, you just have to do it during... You can't even do it then. You have to do it during Man, their... You can do it during their upkeep, because even if, if he does it then, and during... he welds it away, welder's tapped, and so you can't do some... You... He would just let it die. He had a uh, grindstone in hand. So, sure. so he needs to... And so Kevin saw the grindstone. Okay. Uh, and saw the uh, ancient tomb. So he just needs to hold on to the nature's claim until the ability's on the stack. Okay, sure. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, so Strawberry Shortcake, uh, it's Red White Painter. Yes, Red White Painter. It's the, I guess, the official name for Red White Painter. It, uh... Bob scolded me, uh, he took me out back. It uses He source, showed me some things. It uses Source of Plowshares and Enlightened Tutor to help, uh, smooth out the deck and give you more removal options. Um, and feasibly, if I've seen some versions run, uh, Mother Runes to help protect your painters. Really? Yeah, because you can name whatever color uh, painter's naming. Okay, sure. And it protects against literally everything. <laughs> you turn painter's uh, servant into progenitus. <laughs> it's a two-card progenitus. Whatever. You know. Two-card. Whatever. Sinacious, how you doing? Yeah, my voice was gone a little bit. It so was rough. He sounded that's... like... Uh, oh, John Candy. Yeah, he sounded like John Candy. I sounded like or, John Or Tom Candy. Waits. Tom Waits? I'll, I'll take yeah. Tom Waits. John Candy was a terrible example. I did that as a <laughs> troll, and you went along with it. God damn it, Chuck. God damn it. All right, what? Uh, here we go. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> start I think putting Kevin random things Dark up. Blast. Did he? I, yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. He kills everything except uh, Painter. Yeah. And Welder's what really gave him the issue there. Yeah. So. Welder's so good. Hashtag Ignit Chewer does work. Ignit oh, Chewer does do work. So, I'll go ahead and take the time. Guys, I ordered some shirts. So you got hashtag fetch line suck. Uh, I didn't because that was gonna add like four bucks per shirt, oh. and by four bucks I mean like two or three. But when you're ordering, that's several, like twenty five shirts. Yeah, yeah, it's that that, that adds, adds up. up. <laughs> so maybe the next run, hashtag fetch line suck. You how get about, it right, Spike Mo. How about uh, Verotica? Uh, no Verotica was either. Uh, no, no, no <laughs> pair erotica. Actually, I liked the, uh, I liked yesterday. Yesterday? Uh, hashtag in bread we trust. In bread we trust. Uh, <laughs> I think that's a reference to the game I Am Bread. No, no, no. No, that was me. Um, uh, we were talking about, uh, somebody said Brian had nice hair. I said, yeah, I have nice hair. And what I meant to type was, and a beard. Uh, instead, <laughs> I typed, I have nice hair and a bread. <laughs> and so, all hail the bread. That just went, uh, crazy. Uh, uh, we reset it? Yeah, we did. All yep, right. yeah, it's all reset. Uh, Tim apparently set a deck list for infect combo. I have not gotten to see it yet. Uh, uh, Kevin has a hand with breakthrough and no lands. Looks like no, oh, no he's, he's got, got several colors. No. That seems fine. Uh, um, Bob has two red sources or two lands and some stuff, so it seems fine. Yeah. I mean, I think this is a decently... Yeah. This, is, this is a good hand for Kevin. Yeah. Uh, he's going to go down to 19 here. Assuming and... he has two good... Oh, he just drew an LED. Oh, did he? faithless suit in hand. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and bring up... Uh, how the fuck do you spell cephalid? Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah. 
Oh, no, that's not the J is not supposed to be. All right, so as much as Gatherer kind of sucks, it still has one of the best uh, Cephalid. Uh, condition searches. Calls. There we go. We'll bring that up. Ooh, uh, it's shiny. That's the from the Vault Realms. Yep. So, a careful study, he's going to pitch. Looks like Blasting Golgari Thug. Gar yep. So it's going to give him at least two dredgers off of this. Uh, I know a lot of dredge cards. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Can I get a Fetchland Suck shirt? When they are made. And when when they're made. Right now, I just got Wooberg XYZ shirts. Uh, if you want one, talk to me. Or come see me in... Uh, oh, wow. Ooh, double painter. Or double grindstone on turn one for Bob. Uh, or if you're going to be in Indianapolis uh, for the Legacy GP... I wish I or excuse me, not the Legacy GP. Uh, the uh, Legacy Open... All right, uh, come Kevin's talk to me. Probably gonna do some stuff this turn. He hit a uh, Golgari Grave Troll. Yes. Yeah. So he's probably gonna break through and then crack Lion's Eye for yeah uh, Faithless Looting. Or he'll start. With, oh no! I guess yeah, why not? It makes more sense to start with the Faithless Looting. So there's gonna be some shit that happens. Uh, I have not seen. Ooh, that was a really bad dredge. Well. Not really. He's got two... Uh, if he hits a Narcabiba on the rest of this... He like, didn't hit another Dredger, though. Uh, he's got Dark Blast. I don't know why he didn't dredge that away. But, I mean, either way, this th he's going to be able to do more stuff yeah. here. Um, and he's got two Bridges in the yard and an Iona. Um, Iona's is not as huge right now. No, but it's going to give yeah. him a shit ton of zombies. <laughs> yep. Um, and uh, so it should be good. Now he's going to break through, which is one of the most absurd cards for this deck. Yep. I'm just going to discard a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to draw a whole bunch first, though. Yeah, and then I'm going to discard some things. I'm going to discard some things. I'm going to put some dredgers in the thingy, and it's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Kevin is one of the most practiced uh, dredge players I've seen. Yes. Very good with his triggers uh, and his... So here's the thing. He might actually save the Lion's Eye Diamond. He might. There's no just one. just to be able to go and get um, just to be able to get the. Uh, uh, I think he has all four bridges now. Oh god! And he's got no. He's got three. At least. Three Narcomibas? He's got three Narcomibas and three bridges. I have to imagine that Iona is coming back. Oh in. nope, that's all four. There's one in his hand. All right, so I have to imagine I. He, he, we're about to see a dredge return. Bring back Iona, make, make a shit zombies. ton of zombies. Yeah. <laughs> and then leave. No, 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 no. Why no. don't do that? What's it got to flashback? Huh? The uh, Ancient Grudge. Because. He's got a. Uh, what? That thing. The gemstone mine for that. Yeah, but he's tapped out right now. That's irrelevant. But Bob could, and there's like, there's a world that exists that Bob just wins next turn. So, like, uh, that's why I don't like that. I mean, he's yeah. going to be, he's like... He'd have to have Painter, a Soul Land, and a... Uh, he's so far ahead, and he's going to be dead any... Yeah. Petal or something like that. Yeah, like, so he's so far ahead, he's going to be dead. Um, like, Bob's dead no matter what. You just flash back Iona, you have a shit ton of zombies, you have Lethal on board, you yeah. name Red, you can't, they can't do anything about it. They can swords it. Um, yes. Well, sure. Yeah. But, uh... But first he's gonna. But he's still got it. No, no, he's fine. He's gonna cabal therapy first. Okay. Yeah. All right. So he can see the closest clear and then do it. He should have probably done that before he. Yeah, before he before flashed he back the, the, LED. the LED. I I don't know. I just don't yeah. like. I don't think he had a uh, therapy before then though. I think he was digging for a therapy. Still, I I don't know. I, it was just a much safer line of play, I think, yeah. um, because then you can respond to the grindstone trigger, um, because the likelihood of him have, being able to play. Like he's not uh, going to be able to activate both grindstones, so... Gibson, yeah. um, removal on your turn is really good against Infect. Like, bolting uh, Infect creatures on your turn does a lot of work. Uh, really, I was just going to say he had land plus crop rotation. He just got Maze of Ith and said... <laughs> That's what I would guess. So here, oh, yeah, yeah. here we have the Iona. I was just, asking oh, you. I thought he was asking how do I beat Infect when they have a hand with Infect. Oh, oh no! So the question was, yeah. ask me how I beat an Infect player with an opening hand that had land plus crop rotation. I mean, yeah. they can always mate, uh, Basswood the uh, the attacking creature. Sure. So, I mean, I don't know. 
But I mean, yeah. So here, Bob is going to extend the hand. Um, you know, kill a casual was that? Uh, uh, just, he had he had like fourteen zombies. <laughs> out. It was like that was disgusting. Twenty eight plus seven thirty five power. Up yeah, turn two. you know, you know, it happens. It happens. All right, so we're gonna yeah. bring it back. Uh, do you want to go see if we can get another? I'll match? see if we can do something. All right, cool. Um, and then yeah, so that that should be fun. That should be fun. I'm gonna try to do a little little magic here. I uh, get it because we're playing magic. <laughs> uh, actually, where is that thing? There we go. Um, yeah, so it should be good. Uh, let's see. So webcam controller. I'm gonna try to get the booth to be a little bit, a uh, little less dark, a little less, a little less. Uh, uh, oh, good. It is this one. Give me the advanced options now. A little bit of advanced options. Oh, hey. Um, Alright, so let's take that off of auto. Alright, looking good. Eston, thank you for following. Much, much appreciated. Alright, the white levels aren't doing anything. Or is that affecting the camera out there? Oh, goodness. Um, anyway, so only uh, so Dredge doing what Dredge does best. That's true. Uh, oh, I was going to say, okay, well, we'll take the quick time. So again, guys, uh, giveaway tonight. Only going to be one. Uh, next Wednesday we'll have three again. Uh, not quite sure what the uh, not, I don't know what the next Thursday's giveaway will be, but Wednesday will be uh, we've got three. They're pretty good one. Uh, some mutabalt and uh, maybe a shock or so. Um, but for tonight it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be Japanese uh, little little Japanese baffle strix, a full play set. So guys, keep nice and toasty, keep warm. And uh, good things will happen. Uh, elves in the house, I'm not super sure. Let me see really quick, and we'll find out if we do have any elves. Um, it doesn't look like, it looks like we got lands, charlotte's pox, strawberry, death and taxes, uh, bug, dredge, nick fit, lands, and bug. So that looks to be the rundown, unless somebody else showed up. Um, but I'm actually going to shut off the camera in the background and see if I can get these advanced options to work for the camera. No. All right. So All right. advanced uh, set. Most of them are on game three already. Uh, are they? Um, okay. There's one that's lands versus uh, bug delver that if it goes to a game three, they'll move over. But we'll see. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to... Trying to make this uh, just make this a little better, but it's uh, not working. Color intensity. Nope. See, so this is for the other camera. Dang. That. Dang. I hope the other camera isn't all like blown out now. No, I didn't save any of the any of the thing majiggers. Um, let's change the. Yeah, we're gonna go to that one, and then I'm gonna go to webcam controller, and then I'm gonna see if we can get this to work. So I'll let you talk about something. Let's see what chat's talking about. Uh, what the fuck is Charlotte's Pox and why are we not watching it? We don't have Charlotte's Pox. We have Charlotte's and Pox. Yeah. There are two different decks. <laughs> <laughs> Although Charlotte's Pox would be awesome. Like, Charlotte's agent into, uh, uh Sting Cold. Why? Why are you not working? Actually, here, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this since we got some time to kill. Keep talking. Alright. Alright. <laughs> nice to unplug it. Now there's no camera there. No camera. They don't know any better. Well, the computer doesn't know any better. Ah, uh -huh. all right. Shit just thinks it's unplugged. It's good. Charlotte's Pox would be sweet. I agree. Like, you get to run Life from the Loam and Wasteland. Uh, you get to run Force of Will. Uh, and you might as well be playing Delver and then just be playing Charlotte's Agents. And, sure. And Delver again. So, never mind. It just turns into normal old Bug Delver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's... Mm. Mm. Uh, brightness, maybe? Yeah, that's what we wanted. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'll believe that. Uh, uh, it is from Plane nice. Chase and Commander nice. 2013. That's what Bill Districts is from. Put that right there. Uh, the ones they were giving away are the Plane Chase guy. Are they Plane Chase? Yes, they are. Are they oh, should they all, all four? Oh, oh, no, no. One, of them's, one of them's Commander 2013. Once, once Commander, three Plane Chase. Yeah. So a little bit of a mismatch. Mirror Skull so good. That card exploded. That card's like 20 bucks now. Which one did? Mirror's Gale. Oh, for why? I assume EDH. Well, fuck it. Yep. Hashtag yellow swag. 
Oh, yes. Um, we might, I believe, Tony won his matches. There was someone's asking if we're gonna watch Stardless. Oh, we certainly can. Yeah, he, I believe, he won his game two zero. So there's a good chance we can get him on. All right. Depending on who he's playing right, against. Let's see, make sure I didn't fuck everything up. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Oh no. What's going on over there? <laughs> Background looks blurry. Background is blurry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh. Uh, where's that booth? Where's that booth? Uh, oh, oh, dear no. God. Oh, you just need to turn the autofocus back off. Dear God. Uh, webcam controller, autofocus. Oh, sweet Jesus. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> All right, so maybe we have to turn the booth camera off now? I don't even know. Um, some people care. Some people like all their cards to match. Um, all right, you keep talking. I gotta turn this off. I gotta, oh, I gotta oh. unplug the booth camera. It's like trying to watch Legacy while you've had too much to drink. Oh jeez. Um, yeah. So some people like all their things matched. Like for example, uh, when I choose basic lands, I prefer them to all match and be from the same set. Um, there it goes. There we go. All right. Now I'm gonna plug back in. Yep. That other one. Let's see. Let's see if the shit's working. Uh, that's that's my hope. My hopes and dreams. More at the my hopes and dreams. All right. Ooh, angel stomping. That sounds fun. Did you know? Yeah, that was. Uh, they had. The, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, beautiful. 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 I like it. Uh, yeah, no, angel stompy. They had that at. Um, oh God, it was at the SCG open. They, I did, uh, yeah. I I work all day on this. You guys really need to put that up, like, on the screen. It's, it's on the screen sometimes. It's just, I'm in the other room. I don't... That sounds like an excuse, Chuck. <laughs> I gotta run a store. Uh, Speaking of which, we have these awesome new hoodies for the employees. <laughs> They're super this, warm. <laughs> this match brought to you by Wizards of the Coast. It's true. Technically, yes. Because <laughs> I mean, yes, it weren't for them. I think they were referring to the stream quality at that uh, given point. Yeah. Uh, but, so, uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... No comment. Uh, anyway. Well, let's change the card that we're talking about to one that's relevant. What are we, uh, what are we talking about? We were talking about Baleful Strix. Oh, Baleful Strix? And the yeah. qualities of whether or not you want them all to match, including set symbol. Uh, I, th as long as I think the art is exactly the same. The art is exactly the same. The only difference is that one yeah. uh, symbol. And, and the, uh, card number at the bottom. Sure. Yeah. But especially when it's in a foreign language, I think people are more focused on that than the set yeah. symbol. So I think you can get away with it a little bit there more. There is a very big difference but in the price, though, between the Plane Chase and the Commander 2013. Is there? Yeah, Plane Chase was a lot less available than 2013 was. Huh. All right. Good to know. Because they, they didn't stop printing Commander 2013 until Commander 2014 came out. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Like, we, Fair still, enough. Have, we still have Commander sets of Dojo from 2013. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Everything right. except uh, the one that uh, True Name comes in. Yeah. And so, here, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you these so you can react to them. You can't say anything, but those are going to be the giveaways for Modern on uh, Wednesday. I like it. I love this language. Uh, I know. I know. It makes magic cards look so pretty. Both of those languages are like... Uh, I like this one better. ...are like hot yeah. dollar languages, though. Yeah. It should be good. Better. So, a little, so, little teaser for you so for Wednesday. What was this? Oh, that's mine. Oh, that's I bought yours. that. All right. Yeah. yeah. That's... This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. This is this is what Chuck <laughs> is saying is awesome. Yeah. Is uh, I love me some Crucible World. Some Crucible World. It's got something. I'm not cool gonna lie. Arcs. It was gonna be a giveaway, and then I was like, no, I'm no, buying I'm that. Gonna keep it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I bought it. And I, then I bought it. There's there's definitely a few times I've been like, oh, this card would be awesome for me to suggest to someone. But I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It happens. So guys, uh, what do we? So what do we want to see? We've got time. What's, we had a uh, request for. Bug. Well, let's here. We'll do a poll. We got plenty yeah. of time. Uh, so they have about nine minutes left in the round. New poll. We're a little, we're a little late. New on. poll. So we'll do uh, shardless. Uh, so we'll add that. Uh, we'll here, do... I'll actually differentiate these two lands decks. This one is non. Uh, Wait, there's two. All right, there so are two lands. Are decks. they different? They are. All right. Well. One one does not have uh, Pendlehaven. Not Pendlehaven. Uh, Tabernacle. Really? Yep. 
All right, Unless well, he borrowed uh, it from uh, Tony. I'll still put it. I'll still put Lance. I mean, they're, they're, that's close enough to each other. Like, I thought you were going to be like, one of these is running a Phyrexian Obliterator. The other one's not. <laughs> <That'd be awesome. laughs> so, and this is Death and Taxes? No, that's uh, Show and Tell. Oh, Show and Tell. Excuse me. We do yeah. not have Death and Taxes. Show and Tell. Uh, is it Omni Tell or Show and Tell? It's Who's playing it? Kyle? Kyle. It's Burning Wish version, I believe, right now. Uh, so isn't that Omnitel? I, yeah. It's Omnitel, but it's not the Release the Ants version. Omnitel. Uh, you have an extra I in there. There's no I between M and M. Uh, there might be. Nope. There might be. There is not. We don't know. Uh, so Shardless, and, and then... Bug. We'll do Bug. Was it I Bug that's range? More, I think it's more like a Shardless Bug as well. Uh, the, this, this, there is a Bug Delver, though. Yeah. Because uh, Ned's, Ned's here. Ned's playing Bug Delver. So, and then we got Nick Fit. Or as I like to call it, Bug D. Oh, they're they're yelling now. Go uh, go grab something, and see if he can do a print off. Like we gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta coordinate a little better. All right, that's fine. All right, guys. So no poll. Uh, apparently uh, they're because they're just starting. So uh, sorry for that. Uh, anyway, so let me scroll back down. We missed uh, missed uh, missed some missed some things in chat. Miss some things in chat. Let's let me look back really quick. Uh, vote Dredge. We already saw Dredge. Uh, some people with pictures. Man, okay. I, yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, the Snacious, uh I gotta say is if it's a free play set, you gotta you gotta take what you can get. Take what you can get. Um, <laughs> All right, I like my card. Uh, ba 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 ba. Bane Slayer Angels of House. Yes, it is. Uh, like my art to match. That's very true. I mean, I do too. Yada yada yada. Kyle and, there uh, are some minor cases. Ba ba ba. Thought Siege or Lance was match. A lot of us can memorize the art in hand. Uh, okay, so this is just a whole bunch of whatever. Uh, so we have Kyle and okay. Andrew moving over. Kyle and Andrew? Uh, I was going to do Shardless Bug, but he's playing against Kevin. So, we probably didn't want Dredge on there twice in a row. Sure. Um, and the only other match was Lands versus Storm, as opposed to Lands versus Show and Tell. Okay. Whereas Lands versus Show and Tell, I feel, is actually a match. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Um, what am I doing here? This needs to go up twice. All right. And are these guys undefeated? Yes. All right. So there we go. And left player record. So both these guys undefeated, in meaning they won round one. Yes. I assume uh, Andrew won round one. I'm not entirely certain. Andrew is not the fastest player in the world, and he's playing a rather grindy deck, so there's always an option that, he's, that he went to time. Um, he's not necessarily slow, though. I like no. I just mean his actual physical movements are oh. are slower than uh, sure than some people um, like me. I I I go too quickly and then make mistakes. All right, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, and let's uh, we'll go to twenty and bam, yeah. we're good. All right, we're good. Uh, it was LED dredge, in my opinion, the better dredge. Mentalist dredge is not very good. I don't like Mana List Dredge. It dies to Pithy Needle. <laughs> yeah, I'm not not a Mana List Dredge fan. Uh, vote 60 card Boseju. Mm. I don't know what that is. Dredge can be an exhausting deck. I feel like it's there's a, a joke repetition. there. It's no. a lot of repetition. Yeah, but I feel like there's a joke. Oh, yeah. I want it, uh, I don't know, I want a joke. So, Omnitel, here, we'll bring up Omniscience. Omniscience is a 12? Um, 10? Ten minute. It's a ten minute enchantment. There we go. Omni science. That's uh, right. That allows you to cast cards from your hand without paying the mana costs. Conveniently, this uh, sets their costs to zero, so any tax effects such as Trinisphere or uh, uh, Lord wow. this from last yes. round uh, or Thalia or stuff still applies to every spell that you cast. That's yes. as long as it's not a creature for the two that mattered there. Um, so it's not great. It's, it's still very good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and whereas Lance revolves mostly around life from the loam, no. which trying to grind out value from your lands 
with like Punishing Fire and uh, Grove of the World Royal, Grove of the Burn Willows, um, keeping yourself alive with like Glacial Chasm and Maze of Ith, and then eventually killing you, usually with uh, a 2020 from Dark Depths and Thespian Stage. Yeah. And, no, I'm looking for my phone. Shuzo never gets exhausted from playing something because they play Affinity. Uh, yeah, your rounds are over in five minutes, so I'm not surprised. Uh, well, now I'm a little worried where my phone I can went. call you. No, it's okay. Uh, it's probably sitting out in my car, if I had to guess. And uh, by probably, I mean 100%. Right. Uh, looks like they're keeping Kyle's starting off with a ponder. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah? Now, which ponder do you prefer? Fishy ponder or... Uh, Fishy ponder. I like three moon ponder. Three moon ponder is sweet. I actually had a full art alternate. Uh, actually, I was about to say the promo is also really yeah. good. Um, mm. The only thing I don't like about the no, 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 no. I, had an, I had an altered oh. of ponder, which was pretty sweet. The only thing I don't like about it is the face. I just ruined the ponder for everybody, by the way, by pointing out there's a face in the back. Yeah. Who doesn't know there's a face? Everyone. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> That's Dracula's face. That's what it looks like. Uh, so Andrew's going to play a, uh, a wasteland. wasteland. Take take that out. No more wait. Uh, no more uh, underground sea for. Uh, for Kyle, which really sucks. Yeah, I think that's his only blue source. Yeah, because he was going to do some things. Yeah, he was going to do some nasty things. Lands uh, is that? Yes, very much so. Yes, I believe it runs like 37 lands cards. A bunch of uh, stuff. Yeah, things Crop to go... rotation. Yeah, things to go find. Uh, things that let you play additional lands a turn. And because if Diesel, if I remember correctly, is a modern player, so they're not... Yeah. They're not familiar. There, but there are ways to build a modern uh, lands deck. It's just not nearly as good because uh, Punish Fire's banned. Um, you really did just blow people's minds. How did nobody know that there was a fucking face there? Because it's not very evident. Your mind is focused on the moons. No, there's totally it's all a about face. the moons, no. and then you're like, shit, there's a face. Nah, no, it's I can never play this. I don't know. Face. I loved it because it was Dracula's face, <laughs> and like the two stars look like the eyes, so it looks and it's like foggy, so we just like <laughs> wafted into your room, you know? Yeah. Uh, and so here's the life of the long that we were talking about. So, I feel like Kyle is really at a disadvantage here. Um, show and tell oftentimes known for running a large amount of basics. Yeah. Um, but at times, they don't draw that half. Or sometimes you just Natural, rip the nuts and yeah. you get it. <laughs> so Kyle, Kyle going to get out of 18 here. All right, which, which basic lands is the best basic lands? Uh, unhinged. Unhinged? Unhinged. Hands the down. Full, the full-out drawn yep. ones? Yeah. And he's just going to slam down a... Omniscience. Omniscience. And Andrew, without hesitation, is going to put in a Maze of Myth. Which, which is, is pretty <laughs> bad against Emrakul. Yeah, I mean, you're still going to lose a lot of things every, 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 <laughs> every turn. Every uh, turn. You're never going to cast Life of the yeah. Lamb again. Enjoy. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, so that's... Uh, we might want to show them exactly what just killed Andrew. <laughs> uh, sure. Give me... Uh, uh, let me let me get this done, and then we'll pull up, uh, we'll pull up Emrakul. Yeah. Uh, so... I had to fill out a 27-card order today at Dojo uh, that was sent through our website that asks for a joke to be included in his uh, in his order. Yeah. So I went on Cardboard Crack and found a comic strip about Emrakul, which is, I cast Lightning Greaves, I cast Emrakul, and he's like, aren't you going to attack? And he's like, you can't wear boots, I don't feel comfortable equipping. <laughs> it's like, just attack me! <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Um, I mean, I don't... I, I do agree. I don't think Lance is favored in this matchup. Uh, Andrew has my last Thursday uh, run of luck uh, in terms of matchups. Last Thursday, I played against Pox round one. And guess what he played against for round one? Pox? Yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> but he beat Pox. Yeah. I beat Pox as well. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just like... Very, very hard matchups. Yeah, I don't know if you want Flusterstorm here. I mean, like, in certain cases it's good, but I don't know. Uh, Tim's Jit. Uh, he does not have the Thopter deck. He's working on it. Yeah, we're, we're working on getting that Thopter list, guys. Yeah. 
I, uh, I'm, I'm as interested in it as anybody else. Yeah, the thought. Jack uh, Phipps is legal in modern, right? Is it? No. No. Uh, is it banned? Is that I don't. One of the ones I don't think banned? so. Hey, everybody that plays modern is uh, Dark Depths legal? Or we could just use the Gatherer. No. No. It works. Yeah, actually, this is fine. Wait, 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 wait. We can't. Uh, we can't scroll. No, we can scroll. We just can't move the the border. No, you can't move anything in this window, or else the thing is gonna go away. Oh, okay. Nope. See, look. Oh uh, no. Yep. Uh, oh, you just messed everything. All right. That's my scroll. It's not. Uh, All right. Yeah. So it's, okay. it would be less I didn't, good. I didn't of think. A, I didn't yeah. because there's too many. Because then they, if they don't ban that, then they have to ban Thespian Stage and they Vampire Hex Page. Ah, that card just doesn't see enough play. Vampire Hex Page. Oh, I love that card's so good. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah. So yeah, and so Dark Depths, we brought it up. That's how Andrew is going to win. Um, Most he likely plays that along he with could feasibly grow over the burn well as punish fire. Sure, which out. which I've seen that happen, and it's, like that definitely yeah. used to be the case. That's used to be how lands won. Um, Thespian stage brought new life into the dark depths plant. You didn't have to run a creature anymore, in the, or in the lands. Yeah, I mean just yeah. in general. Um, well, I mean yeah, for dark depths and and two. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Thespian stage. Basically, what's going to happen uh, is you're going to make Thespian stage a copy of dark depths. Uh, obviously, there's no counters on it, so that's going to trigger the dark depths. Uh, well, first, so, state base effect says you have to sack. Yeah, you have to other. sack one. So well, not sack one. You put one in your graveyard. All right. You had <laughs> the legend, won't, legendary. It won't trigger <laughs> yes. that three mana red enchant furnace celebration, where if you sacrifice something, you pay two to uh, uh, deal two sure. damage. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. That that won't happen. But when you sack the Thespian stage for having no counters on it, that will. Yeah. Um. And, uh, yeah, so that's... Yeah. Basically, that happens. There's no counters on it. You end up getting a sack, and you get your 2020 Merit Liege. Yeah. Um, and we were talking about Vampire Hex Mage, so let's bring that up. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Uh, it's from Hex the, Page. From the Zender card block. Hex Page. That's what we're doing uh, here. Like most, recently, most recently in Commander 2014. Yeah. Um, easily uh, one of the best uh, mono black cards out there. Yeah. I'm two mana for two one first strike with a yeah. super relevant ability. Oh, they're saying Heroes Downfall is better. No, nope. no, no, not I for just, killing planeswalkers. Yeah, Heroes not, Downfall cannot beat down. Yeah, and and especially in being a having two and first strike is yeah. hugely relevant. Like hugely relevant. Thalia is really annoying because she's a she's a tax effect. But the thing that makes her the most annoying is that she's a 2-1 first striker. <laughs> All right, and so Carl's Jr. in chat asks, is this like Pokemon, but for grown-ups? Uh, Man Mangaro, uh, Mangororo said, no. I don't know. <laughs> eh, you can make arguments. It's but, more refined. But then it was, then it was, uh, then it was followed up with, is this game fun? And this game is a shit ton of fun. It, it, it at times and, can and be aggravating as shit as at, well. At times is the most fun you can have with cardboard. Yeah. Uh, at other times you will be wondering why you were so angry at cardboard. <laughs> yes. Um, but it looks like the match is underway. Yeah. Andrew's on the play. Andrew's gonna play a tropical island. A very astute. Gives some magic gathering. It is in fact old enough to drink. Is it really? It came out in '93. Yeah. Oh, it's 2015. Yeah. <laughs> well, even right. if it was still 14. <laughs> oh, all right. So here is a Zorin orb, which is interesting. Uh, let's bring that up. It um, is a zero drop artifact that you can sacrifice a land to gain two life. Uh, what, how the you you are. Oh. There we go. Um, yeah. Which so I I guess he's. I don't know what he's actually doing with this. Um, I don't know why you bring this. I would here. love if he. Moved into a white splash and then brought in second sunrise and just sacked everything to zero and sure. back. <laughs> so sure. that's, that's completely unlikely. Um, and so Mike's asking if we're going to see some storm. I don't. Th I thought Phil was going to be here. He is here. He even won round one. I don't see storm anywhere on your list. Storm. Oh, over there. So yeah, we might be able to. We might be able to see some storm. Yeah. Might you know, be able to see some storm. Or is the storm isn't on camera right now? Is because it's also played against lands, and I felt like the Omni Tail matchup against land was more interesting. And evidently, yeah. I was wrong because they just went on turn three. Yeah, uh, Carlos Jr. trolling a little bit. Yeah, or maybe not. Maybe just uh, May, uh, maybe, maybe just naive. Maybe interested. Yeah, it happens. Uh, so Kyle just uh, preordained on turn one. 
Yep. Um, I'm gonna let you do this Completely because bad. I'm gonna try to calm down the brightness on this camera by unplugging the other one. All right. So. Um. Andrew Bowman just plays a Ghost Quarter, actually super relevant card in this matchup. Yes. Uh, <laughs> because Ghost Quarter actually kills basics. Yeah, and I mean, eventually he's going to get... Uh, yeah. Yeah, eventually Kyle will run out of basics. Yeah. Uh, and especially if he has a good enough uh, recursion engine this time around. It looks like he has a crop rotation and a Bayou in hand and a Thespian stage. Is that an intuition at the very end? Uh, yes, that is an intuition. No, no, not not him. Him. Uh, I don't know. I didn't know he ran intuition. Intuition's a really good tutor package for uh, lands. Yeah, but I didn't. I, did, I haven't seen it from yeah. him before, so that's why. That's why I'm it, interested. It single handedly it doesn't surprise you, me at all, though. It single handedly gets you the the lone uh, grove of the burn wells loop. Okay. It doesn't get all three pieces, and it doesn't matter which one you get. Yeah. Uh. Andrew's just going to play a Rashad Import for the turn. All right. Which I think is yeah. just as good. And Kyle's going to Intuition at the end of the turn. I'm uh, going to drop him down to 18 here, though. Uh, not that that's probably going to matter too terribly much. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. It's uh, Mango Guru is explaining something, it looks like. Uh, uh, looks like Andrew is responding with a crop rotation, sacking his uh, tropical island. That's an interesting yeah. sack. Which uh, is going to get force of willed. That Real sucks. Fast. Yep. Real fast getting his force of willed. Yep. Kyle's going to go down to 17. Yep. Uh, Andrew's now down a land. He's down his blue source. Which is, um, I don't think, super relevant. Well, if he had the if he well, had I think the more intuition, is he's down his green source. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's very yeah. relevant to two, but if Andrew did have his intuition in hand, yeah. then that's really bad. Yeah. Um, and intelligent man, hey, how you doing? Uh, and then again, say Andrew Lurie, I beat him once. And then, uh, yeah, curse cat. <laughs> Mr. Greg Schaefer, the scumbag himself, in chat. How you doing? How you doing, Mr. Curse Catcher? Hope well. Hope well. Uh, so Andrew, in the upkeep, is going to tap the Ancient Tomb. Which is fine. Which is the correct play in yes. this scenario. Um, especially Forced him since, to have another soul land. Yeah, and he just got three... Yeah, he's because just going to ponder. Yeah, three omnisciences from... <laughs> is it two defense grids that we had? Uh, Put one to the top? I think one's a Lotus Puddle. Oh, uh, I think Lotus Petal will help next turn. It's yeah, not going to do think, anything I this turn. I think he turn, no. only has white border uh, defense grids. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, looks like he doesn't want either of the land or the defense grid that's on there. Um, What's up, Greg Shaper? So let's see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andrew plays a wood fiddle and cracks right. it immediately. Um, Probably going to go see another tropical land. That or a taiga? Nah, but because he, he needs he needs green and blue. Yeah. So, um, because he needs to get this intuition off. But, I mean, Kyle's got an I, Emrakul, and I he's got the omniscience and a show-and-tell. I think it's more important that he uh, he fights over Kyle's mana. Um, is it? I think that's the only way he can claw back in this. Uh, but, I mean, we know from Kyle's, like, yeah. I mean, I agree. Um... Like, what is he yeah. going to get that will prevent an Emrakul from just... Ah, uh, I'm thinking. Um, <laughs> nothing, I don't like, know. Like, he needs to just rip a... Uh, uh, propaganda. <laughs> I just play propaganda. Ah, you like, two propagandas. Yeah. <laughs> he needs, he needs, like, three. No, he, he needs he, three right he needs now. Prop well, no, no, he's got a port. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. So... Propaganda and port. Yeah. All right. Little. So he's going to go ahead and tap down the ancient tomb again. Um, little does Andrew know that's not going to do a whole hell of a lot. No. Kyle's going to go ahead and fetch. He's going to go down to 16. Uh, and we're going to see another match. Most likely. <laughs> uh, some hand gestures. They're very vigorous. Probably emulating his disappointment at this matchup. Yeah. You picked this. Hey, I didn't choose Baron, so... <laughs> 
Um, all right, so here's another. I figured that Lance had sweet I... ways to interact with him. Tell. And I almost wonder, like, if you get another basic, just because you know you're going to have, like, I don't know. Maybe yes, maybe not. I think not. the basics are the correct choice here. Okay. Andrew has way too many ways to eat your lands. Yeah, I'm just thinking with the ghost quarter, you want to leave some basics in there, so that way you can actually, like, I believe that's stuff. Andrew's only ghost quarter. Yeah, but I mean, assuming he yeah. this game will actually go and... More than what it currently is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Crocus. Oh, yeah, Crocus is good against Epical, but yeah, not with yeah. the Omniscience. Not with Omniscience. Uh, and the Omniscience is in hand um, from the earlier uh, intuition. What, what Andrew actually needs right now is a surgical extraction, particularly in response to this defense grid. <laughs> Why didn't he just play a land and win? Because he, he played a land. No, he didn't. He didn't. That was the fetch. No, that oh, was no, the no. fetch. Oh, I don't know. So he has the land in hand. I guess he's really worried about Andrew having force. Was that a... Maybe that's why Andrew's been sitting on this intuition? Is Andrew playing force? I don't know. That's that's why I'm confused. Like, he's got everything in hand. He's got Emrakul, Show and Tell, and Omniscience. Yeah. He's got everything but force. So, he's got to ponder. <laughs> um... Andrew's trying to figure out what he's going to do about this defense grid. Uh, so we should bring that up because... Yeah. Uh, defense grid just says that all spells cost two more unless it's your turn. Three more. Three more. Sorry. Get your shit together. You played eggs. I never played the card defense grid, though. That was a staple in the it, sideboard. It was eggs. a staple in the sideboard. Never was once relevant <laughs> when I played that deck. <laughs> uh, also, remember, I hated playing that deck in tournaments. Like, the deck was awesome to goldfish. Terrible to play against someone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think Andrew just saw an extra card while drawing. Is that what's going uh, on here? Or No. All right. I think he was just talking. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm still a little confused on the Zoran Orb. Like, why do you, why you bring that in? I extra thing to sack to Emrakul? <laughs> uh, sh sure. Like, just low-costed things, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Gives you an extra turn in which to try to rebuild. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, either way, this game. Like he is just over didn't play turn. a land last turn. Yeah, Kyle didn't. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. Um. I, he's just playing as safe as humanly possible, which I guess is fine because he's gonna win no matter what. So why rush it? Yeah. Um. But uh, he has a sphere of resistance, which actually is fairly relevant. That's pretty big, actually. Yeah. Um, especially with this port, he just needs to play another land first. Yeah. All right. So wow. Yeah. All right. So we might actually we might see a little bit. Um, Sometimes Zorb Orb is main. Oh, uh, is that what uh, Kenji's saying? Yeah. Um, I don't know about that. I feel like that's weak. Like it's hedging just against the burn decks. I guess uh, blue red Delver now. Well, I guess like hyper aggressive. I mean, yeah. like because we've seen at least in our local meta, Zoo's been cropping back up. Um, and Simon is not. A no, no, no. Player. Other people have been yeah. playing like hyper aggressive because there was yeah. talk about playing like I mean even like the uh, the rug deck with the Kurt Apes and then a couple other people were talking that, about yeah, some I stuff. That was awful. Really? I think it's fine. I think like because you that way you can play Treasure Crees and not have to worry about anything. Yeah. Um, but there's a second land by you coming down for Andrew or the fourth land rather, which is yeah. what he the needs. second land in which he can actually use to cast spells. What's he, oh, he's going for a crop rotation? I don't like that. I think your play is... I think your play is just Sphere of Resistance yeah. to have, uh, Ancient Doom. Force Kyle to have another Soul Land in yeah. order to do this. I mean, I guess this technically... It goes in what? Gets him a Crocus this way? Or Maze of it? Crocus doesn't do anything against uh, Omniscience, though. No, well, you go to they go to their attack step, and then you bounce it back to their hand, and, and you then just... And they take their extra turn. And, yeah, and then you... <laughs> You get a couple extra. But they turns. recast I don't it. Know. To make an extra turn. Yeah, I mean it's not not great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't, we'll we'll see. See, I I don't like uh, Krakus in this matchup. I like things like O Ring better. Yeah, but I mean I don't. But like Krak is like if he maybe Andrew. Well, no, we did. So we saw an omniscience. Yeah. Game one. Um. Because I was thinking maybe he just didn't see it and thought he was on just standard show-and-tell. Um, 
or Sneak and Show rather. No, he, at he, which place Krakus is amazing against Sneak and Show. Yeah, Krakus is very good against Sneak. Oh, uh, it's very good against Show and Tell. No, it's good against Sneak Attack too, and they have to have multiple red sources. Yeah, but I meant like the eventually, which oftentimes they don't, especially if you're playing land. You the, can get the them Sneak out. Attack usually gets through uh, Krakus. Yeah. It's still like Krakus is still very good there. It's just usually the Sneak Attack gets gets there. Yeah, uh, if you go for three full three card combo, I guess it, not really because key Caracas is is Emrakul is going to have an extra yeah. turn. The Caracas is going to be tr- tapped, and he's going to get another extra turn by playing the <laughs> Emrakul again. So like, um, now what like if bots. he what if he put that uh, what is it Ugin? Uh, what's the one that can't take extra turns? Ugin? Ugin's Nexus. Yeah, what if Ugin's Nexus was out? How awesome would that be? That'd uh. make me happy. Mm. Okay, so this were no, it doesn't because no. it's if that was wasteland, this would work. Yeah, but that was given wasteland, that that's that ghost quarter, unless he doesn't have another, does he not have another basic? Oh, no, he does. oh he's got one more. All right, that's it though. Yeah. So no, like, on tap, it, Kyle. Yeah, in in another world, if Andrew actually had the loam going already, I like, think this would have been. I think Kozilek makes a good point that if he had if he had gotten a second port, this is very very good for him. Yeah, you still have to wait till he has two more lands to in order to really lock Kyle out. Was it the uh, with the sphere of resistance? Sure. Um, Either way, sphere of resistance is still very good. And I oh, and there's there's a better. there's a force, so there's nothing that's gonna. Yeah. We're gonna, gonna we're gonna see a waffle up 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 He might put the sphere of resistance in right now, actually. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, that's that's at least it slows things down. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I mean, Kyle still wins. Sure, but it's going to take longer. <laughs> yeah. And it gives, yeah, it gives Andrew... All right, I mean, right. I don't know... Andrew's celebrating the fact that Kyle's turn is effectively over. <laughs> yeah, so maybe there's... Maybe Andrew brought in, like, enchantment hate or something? So, like, and if if Andrew does have... Corrosion Grip's very good right here. Yeah, if, yeah. if Andrew has something, like, I can play Corrosion Grip or something. Now, granted, we know that Kyle has a force... But Frozen regret can't be forced. Well, you, sure, yeah. but like naturalize or something naturalize, else that he back had to in nature, there. Yeah, all that stuff. Um, that's insane. And yeah. he wins. So any life game decks in Legacy? Uh, every deck with Stoneforge. Yes. <laughs> well, that's because they go get Batter Skull and they yeah. go whoop, whoop, whoop. or yeah or, or Jinx. GTA. Yeah. Uh, Soul Sisters not really a deck in in Legacy. It's uh, more of a modern deck. Uh, All right, so we're just gonna see a port. All right, well, no, this is gonna be game over. I was yep. hoping for something, hope something crazy. Do another force. Yeah. Boop 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 boop. Dead. Yeah, Andrew really needed a uh, uh, enchantment removal on that turn. Yeah, yeah. If he had had that though, yeah. that would have been insane. If, had, if it was if it, if it corrosion grip, yeah, it would have been or, absolutely or insane. A prop decay would have done it as well. Or Berenia, hello. How are you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. I don't know. Would have been good. good Carnivore things. really wants to raffle. Okay. You know what? It'll happen. They just gotta... So now we're at the fun part where Kyle gets to take <laughs> yet another turn. Yet another turn, yep. Uh, he has to pay that one mana. <laughs> yes. Not that matter. Uh, okay, I five sh- <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll say shortcutting. A little yeah. shortcutting happening here. Uh, uh, he has six permanents. He can sack all those. I think you just sack them all to Zorn Orb first, yeah. right? You, you gain, gain a bunch you, of life. You gain eight life and try to win on your next turn. Is he pointing or anything to? All right, the, Kyle reached for his pen pad. Yeah. So, so he's gaining eight. So he's going to take nine. He's going to go to ten. Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Kyle, Kyle with a <laughs> with a. Uh, nice little pass of the turn. Just yeah. <laughs> like your turn. All right. All right. So we'll bring it back. Um, do you want me to go try to, or do you want to try to uh, find one? Yeah, I'll go try to find one. All right. Cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, thieves auction. Look, I'm beginning to read names correctly. I don't know. I'm a little upset the fact that I'm actually reading names correctly. It uh, hurts my soul a little bit. I think. Uh, just because of, uh, I don't know, that I don't come up with fun names anymore. 
Uh, everybody rubs their nipples coming back here, Jameson. You gotta come up with something a little bit more original. Alright? If you walk out of the bathroom like your pants down, then it'll be much more. Uh, yeah, and... And I think they were just kind of shortcutting there with the uh, with the one mana not being tapped for the Emrakul. Um, because he had plenty of mana to do it. Um, both players know each other. So I would imagine they're uh, doing a little doing a little hoopty hoop and what to what supty sup. Uh, yeah, what's up, Mad Hatter? I don't know. My uh, my hair's a mess today. Look at that. So uh, I just didn't want to do anything. Pedal good you should power goal. Thank you for following. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank you, Jameson. Thank you. Much better. Um, oh, goodness. Uh, <laughs> one out of ten, not an owl. <laughs> uh, you're just in league with uh, Curse Catcher. Uh, so Mike is asking if we're coming to Indy. You bet your ass we're coming to Indy. Uh, Curse Catcher will be there with me. Uh, I'm going to have t-shirts. Uh, so come up to me, uh, talk to me for a little bit. If you want to donate to the stream, please do, and we'll uh, we'll see about getting uh, getting a T-shirt, uh, or just come up and talk to me, and we'll see what uh, what happens anyway. Either way, just come up and talk to me. I like talking with people. As you can see, I talk to people. Dumb mother, how are you? How are? You? That's how I know you're in chat. We needed you yesterday because uh, we thought the follower notification was broken because we didn't see you. And uh, God. Let me down a little bit. Uh, Damia, thank you for following. Much appreciated as well. I think we're now over 800 followers. So, uh, that'll be awesome. That'll be that'll be great. Yeah, I got a new version of MUD that I've been testing right, out. It appears that, uh, a is everybody done again? No. Uh, Storm versus Lens is done. Okay. And, that, uh, and yeah, it's just that, as fast as... Yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, Are we getting into the match? It, there's... One match that's going to game three currently that okay. uh, does not want to move over. Um, okay. Dredge versus Bug is on game two or three. Uh, I think Dredge is going to win it. Okay. Because um, it's like turn two and he already has like sure. a massive graveyard and stuff in play. All right. Um, and uh, the only other match is one that's starting game three that doesn't want to move as well. Ugh. Should uh, I tell them that they get a time extension and stuff? It's not done who? that. Yes, it's it two, is. No, one's Ben Sanford, who just doesn't want to be on camera. Yeah, that's fine. And the other one's Colin uh, Bianchi, who just doesn't want to be on camera. Oh, Colin. He feels like he's being judged by people he doesn't know. That's fair. But that's it's fair. it's loving judging. No, it's Yeah, not. it is. <laughs> Have you seen... They don't see chat. <laughs> they don't see chat. <laughs> we only see chat. And we don't say half the shit the chat says. No. Because chat's malicious. Some You guys it are is. malicious. They're being very malicious sometimes. Talking about Grim Tutor. That's a finger. Finger to you, to Grim Tutor. What are we talking about, Grim Tutor? Well, they're talking about it. We'll talking about it's not being pulled. Grim Tutor. Grim Tutor is Grim, a uh, uh, two black, one colorless, uh, diabolic bam. tutor. That, it's a good thing. From uh, Starter 99. It's good uh, thing. That's like $128? Like that. Uh, it's expensive. It's, it's expensive. not cheap. Not yeah. cheap. And you lose three life, and uh, is oftentimes in judge lists. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, in uh, storm lists. Yeah. I, I looked over and saw judge and immediately <laughs> said the word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I try to finger the chat whenever I can. It's hot. Oh shit! I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go do my uh, my car. Yeah. So how about we talk talk about pre release? Talk pre release. About sweet All right. Pre release things. <laughs> pre release is this weekend. Uh, it is coming out for Fate Reforged, which has awesome cards like uh, Alicia, who smiles at death. Super cool three drop in the uh, Mardu colors. Uh, lots of cool things you can do with this card. Uh, I'm looking at you modern players for particularly interesting things. Um, like, I like to attack with her and then get back Siege Gate Commander. That card's awesome. Uh, you know, just get just get back a five drop and uh, make five power with the dudes uh, that you can shoot at their face. Um, let's see. Yeah, pre-releases this weekend. Uh, if you're in the Shadowling area, both Dice Dojo and MTG um, Car Market are running events all weekend. Uh, I'll be judging all the ones at Card Mark at a. Uh, Dice Dojo, it'll be five events, and I will slowly go crazy from lack of sleep over them. <laughs> um, 
The arena foil dresses are sweet. I'm actually a big fan of the IDW ones. Which is... Uh, not on gather. Lame. All right, the IDW ones are the ones that uh, uh, have Ashiok and Dak Faden. Uh, Dak Faden is pretty sweet. Um, what are you guys thinking about uh, choosing as your pre-release uh, clans? Uh, if I was playing, I'd probably be choosing Jeskai. Uh, this card right here just seems nuts. This card seems absurd. I want to play it. I want it to do awesome things along with this one. Ooh. That guy also seems awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, what are you guys brewing with for uh, post Fate Reforged? Um, how's it going, Frank? Uh, one of the really cool interactions that I'm excited for is this little god right here. This one? Yep, he's a really cool guy. Uh, he makes them choose pay life or um, or return things to your hands that die. Uh, he seems to go with manifest. Like, just constantly manifesting cards and then when they die, drawing whatever that died. Uh, be it land, be it a spell, uh, or they, they lose life. Both seem good. Uh, for the hate bears, exit value, etc. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We're trying to get another match on camera right now. Uh, it might not uh, happen. The one match outstanding that's willing to move over is uh, Strawberry Shortcake, which we saw in round one, versus Goblins. Uh, does not look good for Goblins when I saw it. All I'd have is a pile driver on board against um, a pretty stacked board for Strawberry Shortcake. Had a, a ensnaring bridge and top and uh, uh, lots of cool things for Legacy for the new set, right? I'm a series of mentor, but most notably the big one for the new sets for Legacy. People are excited about it. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck are we talking about? Athreos? Because <laughs> Athreos <laughs> with Manifest sounds awesome. Uh, as long as your devotion... Uh, Ignore that. It's all about the second ability. Uh, return the card. Right, return it to your hand unless you... Unless the opponent plays three. So, no matter what you manifest, land, creature, uh, spell, whatever, if it dies as a Manifest... You return to your hand unless they pay through your life. All right, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to be any good. It seems awesome for probably not competitive play. <laughs> yes. Like an EDH deck with this and the enchantment that pay for manifest top card of your library. Sounds awesome. Okay. Yeah. Or or the aura that makes a 2-2 fly in lifelink. Yeah. Then you got to get, uh, what, you got to get green in there, right? No. Is, there, it, is it white? Yeah. The enchantment, the aura and the enchantment are white. There's also a black creature that's tap it, sack a dude, uh, manifest top card of your library for one black as hmm. a uh, as a creature. All right, fair enough. So uh, what do they say? Uh, so uh, has to be uh, monastery mentor may cause Jeskai tokens to be a modern a legacy deck. Not sure if anything else. I don't know if it'll be Jeskai if, tokens. It'll yeah. be mentor with young PZ, maybe some Delver. And I, I feel like uh, the mana's good enough in modern uh, that if Jeskai tokens were going to be a thing, it would have been already running uh, uh, Monastery Swift Spear and uh, Rabble Master potentially, or uh, maybe even splashing for uh, what's it called? Lingering Results? Uh, sure. I mean, it does, it's not that hard to splash for the black for a flashback. And that way you have two spells for the cost of one. Which is awesome, as always. Yeah, alright. You gotta keep talking. I'm doing things. Uh, I'm making shit happen. 
Oh, I would like to interact with chat, but I can't see them <laughs> nope, at the moment. Nope. So I'm just going to start talking about how cool Atheros is again. Uh, he's three mana, uh, which means he's tied to legal. Uh, uh, all right, back. We're done. We're back uh, to right, chat. Cool. We're back to uh, chat. Young Pyromancer also would be in this uh, in this. Yeah, this guy young Peasy. Uh, problem is, everybody in that deck dies to Pyroclasm. Sure, but who? I mean, like you might see Pyroclasm, and not necessarily because you got a whole bunch of Monastery Swift Spears now. Yeah, Monastery Swift Spear, Monastery Mentor are awesome for surviving that. Does type Mentor of have Prowlance as yes, well? Yes, it does. Oh, that's so stupid. It, all right, whatever. <laughs> it has, like, all right, brainstorm. It has, fuck it has you. Prowess and makes Prowess dudes. Yeah, all right, <laughs> just brainstorm. Fuck you. Done. And modern. Uh, yeah, yeah, and modern. Yeah, just, just make that legal. Uh, <laughs> we'll do uh... <laughs> fall. Atheros is always going to happen. You can't stop him. He's and got we'll, a passage. He's walking we'll, there. <laughs> and we'll do a... Uh, I'm going to do a little... About the giveaway again. Again, we got four uh, Japanese uh, Belfast Strixes. Some good things happening. And uh, we're going to give those away later yeah. on in the stream. When are we going to give them away? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. It's science. Probably during round four. S science. Yeah. Prompt me. Shh. But uh, it'll be good things. Uh, we'll give those away. You're going to have to be followed. And again, the giveaway is courtesy of uh, our lovely host tonight, MGG Card Market. So, uh, guys, please go to their page, uh, their Facebook page, like it, uh, post on it, say, hey, you know what? We like the stream. We watch the stream. We like the giveaways. We want to see more giveaways. Yeah. Should be good. Wait, Monastery Mentors already in Gatherer now? Yeah. When did they All start doing that? Is uh, it was like two days ago. No, but when Like, when do they start doing pre-release stuff in oh. Gatherer? This time? <laughs> Ah, that's crazy. Hey, crazy. Just yeah, yeah Cogwheel, thank you for following, and uh, Noob's OP, thank you for following. Um, this guy also is surprisingly good in my playtesting. Which uh, guy? Shu Yun, the Silent Tempest. Uh, the fact that he's a 3 oh. 2 is actually super, super relevant. Today is awesome, because today is awesome for and following. Us. Thank oh. you. And one away nine nine or <laughs> one away nine nine one one one. Thank you for following as much. And then D Mark. D Mark. Thank you for following as well. Three one two. Maybe they're in Chicago. Yeah. Who knows? Or they just like the beer. One of the two. That's uh, the only two reasons why their name is three one two brewed here. Well, it's Goose Island. I don't know. Then it's probably brewed here. And no, Anheuser Busch bought them, and they brew a lot of their shit out of New York. I so. meant like it was probably originally brewed here, which is why it has its name. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. No, I don't yeah, know beer. It was. But um. Yeah. No, that's good things. That's good yeah. things. I don't even know. I don't um, even know. So what does this guy do? Uh, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may pay a uh, red or two red and a red or white, and they gain double strike. All right. Yeah. Cool. Target creature gains double strike. So Cra it doesn't even have to be him. Yeah. Today is awesome. Craft beer is the best beer. Yeah. Did you fart? Who farted? I think it's you. Or it might oh, be Oh, God. Steven. 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 Close that. Close it now. Close it now. It's leaking out. Oh, no. Um, oh, sweet. Sweet Lord with the candy bracelet. Uh, what was that? Got a candy bracelet. What was that giant black mythic uh, sorcery? Shack. Shack? <laughs> That's Shack. <laughs> uh... No, uh... The one that target you shuffle target player's graveyard and then manifest all those cards? Oh, I don't know. Oh, this is a new card? I don't know. No, it's not, yeah, it's a new no. card. It's it's absurd. It's stupid. It'll never see play in any format outside EDH. Yeah, no, so DMARC... That means that the card is awesome. DMARC, no. Uh, three, 312, no. That has to be either 312 uh, for the beer or Chicago. I, you can't Chicago. Be, you can't be born March 12th. No. That's that, just that a fallacy. Happen. No. Uh, just a fallacy. You can't be born nine uh, days before me. Just can't happen. Speaking of my birthday, guess what's uh, Dragon of Tarkir's pre-release? What's Dragon? What your birthday? Yeah. <laughs> Good. You're gonna get to work that. You're gonna enjoy. I'm gonna it. get to You're work. Love it. I get to work 18 hour a day on my birthday. Uh. Oh yeah, it's ghastly something. Ghastly something. Saxel, I am back. I missed you, even though you kind of were here. I'm drunk. Ghastly conscription. Seven mana, shuffle target player's graveyard, and manifest all those cards. Wait, you manifest the cards? Yeah, you manifest them. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's terrible. It'll never like be it. played in any constructive format outside EDH, but this card is awesome. Yeah. It's like, your graveyard? Now my army of tutus. <laughs> with no abilities, and no names. Hold on, and odds are I can't unflip them. And we're going to take a quick break here. Because uh, uh, people are talking about booze in chat. I like booze. I'm gonna weigh my, I'm gonna do my quick weigh in here. All right. Uh, 
Craft beer is delicious, and if you're going to drink beer, it's probably the way to go. All right. That being said, straight liquor is good too. Got to have some. Uh, I'm a big whiskey fan. I enjoy some whiskey. I'm more of a rum guy. Uh, uh, you just don't sip rum though. Rum's no. good for mixing. Like I don't know. I I can't do booze. It's it hurts me. I don't know. Kevin, how's it looking? How many people are still playing out there? Uh, and you don't want to go in the bathroom. I'm doing yeah. you a favor by telling <laughs> you. You might want to wait a few minutes. <laughs> it was it was leaking out. It was not a it was how, not a good thing. How'd your metric tone go? Uh, I won. All right. When I when I went over there, it looked like you were going to win because it looked like it was turn two and you already had a massive graveyard and some dudes in play. Uh, well. Yeah. And so now. I won game Hmm. Game three, I had like nothing in hand. Had a uh, first chain of paper, first cage, and was able to like there three pieces of paper at his hand. Nice. Yep. All right. Um. Anyway, so today is awesome. Dogfish 80 minute IPA. I don't know if I've had the 80 minute. I've had 60, 61, 90, 120. So, yeah, so I don't know. Awesome. If... Talking about Japanese whiskey. Yeah, actually, I heard uh, good things about it. It was a Japanese yeah. scotch. That's the number one. Scotch in the, in the, the world, world right beat now? out uh, yeah. Scotland for the first time. Yeah. Oh no, not for the first time. Scotland or, hasn't had the best scotch in a whoever while. Had, somebody had it for a long time and just beat it out. Oh, I mean, they had it for like up until like the seventies, and then yeah. various places have been beat. I meant like but, recently, somebody had it for a very long time and then just got knocked out by this. Oh wait, Saxel's mixing an eighteen-year-old whiskey, probably scotch, and putting a little soda in it. No, no, you don't no. put you don't put a nah. soda. Like I can't handle my liquor particularly straight, but I know one thing for certain. When you have old ass liquor, you don't mix it. <laughs> well, no, you can put it over ice, and I mean the ice is going to melt. Right, and my it's gonna ice do is that. not mixing it. So ice is chilling I guess, it. I guess and if, if Saxel's not putting any ice in the glass and yeah. then mixing it with the soda, that's fine. I mean, I still want to. I still. I bought a soda stream, or I, I'm in the possession of a soda stream. I still want to carbonate some whiskey. That like, sounds. That's, that's, that's that sounds like you're trying to make whiskey uh, ices. <laughs> Uh, no, it's just, which, uh, you're just making whiskey soda. It's uh, delicious. The boiler room in Lo- in uh, Logan Square. Yes. What about uh, it? They have things like Jameson ice cream. Yes. It's really good. Yeah, I've had it. Yeah. It's quite tasty. Were you there yeah. that night that we... No, I went there on a date once. Oh, how'd that go? It went all right. It went all right? Yeah. All right, well, there you go. Chuck goes on dates. He gets the Jameson ice cream. It's tasty. It's go all right. All right. All also, right. it helps that I know people who uh, manage the stuff, the place. Do you? Yeah, they're well, former uh, like partners of Dojo. Who? Um, Kevin, who I think runs their kitchen, and Kimmy, who runs the front door. Hmm. I probably have met them. Asian chick. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, all right. I don't know. It's 4 a.m. in Germany. My friend has uh, has a shelf of al- alcohol in his room. If you mix anything with that alcohol, he will punch you in the face. Good Fair man. enough. Yeah. Uh, the giant, the giant whiskey jars, of snakes. And, yeah. You gotta get some snake whiskey. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. You're just part <laughs> of the thing. <laughs> Somebody uh, watches Archer. <laughs> oh wow, Tim, you have a good one. And it's, uh, if it's 4 a.m., that's uh, that's intense. Uh, uh, looks like somebody's moving. Did over. somebody just sit down? Uh, do you want to go find out what that's about? Because uh, uh, looks, like looks like tone and I don't know. It's go see if this is an actual match or that this yeah. is. Well, it looks like pox, but no, because tone already won or tone lost. I'll see what's going on. <laughs> or did the round start now and I'll nobody I'll said I'll anything? I'll see what's going on. God. No, there's still there thirteen minutes left in the round. You probably not clock. How is this 13 minutes left in a row? All right. We don't know. Oh, goodness gracious, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, until we figure out what the fuck is going on. Because uh, it looks like Phil and Zinni have both sat down. But I'm going to bring it back until Chuck gets back and we have something going on. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, PGA brings up a good point um, that I should... Talking about resizing the screen. All right, so here's what's happening. Okay. Uh, Nick Fit versus uh, Pox is going game three. Okay. Uh, they still refuse to move over because Ben does not like cameras. Sure. Uh, so what it happened is uh, Tony and Andrew decided to play old standard on camera. So we currently have uh, blue green control versus mo- uh, 
blue green aggro versus mono black control. I think it was okay. mono black aggro right. versus blue green. Control. All right, sure. Something so we'll like do this a yeah. little. We'll do this a little funsy dunsy. We, we will we'll test this, our old standard knowledge. Yeah, and we'll leave this on in the background. But basically, the reason yeah. why um, the booth camera does not take up the entire uh, screen is exactly for like this reason. Like, if somebody does not tell us that the match is starting, we can, so we can, keep we, can an eye on it. we can see activity going on on the yeah. screen. Um, yeah, and Tim, uh, I will get back to you about that deck list that you sent me. No, this, this uh, is like 1995, or like between 95 and 2000 ish standard, I believe. Yeah, I have zero clue what's happening. Yeah, what like it's, playing. it's got things yeah. like Natuku Shade and people's sideboards and stuff like that. Like that's this deck has a what's that front card? Is that uh, well, it's is a careful, careful study. study? Yeah. yeah, I know careful study. The rest so of that shit, I don't. When when was careful study printed? I don't know. A long time ago. Yeah, here type in careful study. Uh, careful. Uh, we're, we might, I might, uh... There we go. <laughs> Acreful. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Virgin game, uh, Dobbs 90 set, 96 felt, heard about. Is this the Virgin? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I've, uh, uh been around for a bit. Onslaught, which was 90, uh, 2004? So this is 2004 <laughs> standard. Alright, so 10 years ago? <laughs> yeah, and he just played a smother... I have no idea what's happening and right now. And now he's duressing. And yes. What is that, though? That's an explorer. That's not an explorer. It's a creature. Oh, it, uh, I have no idea what that That's is. That's green, green something and uh, whatever. I don't know. And you said smother before you said explore. Chuck, you're just confusing the people. That, this is smother. Oh, over there. All right, sure. Yeah. All right. Smother's in the graveyard. Oh, so, oh it's oh, yeah. Odyssey Madness. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. So then that's... Um, it's not Ruwala. I don't know what that green card is. I don't. I don't know magic cards. <laughs> man, he, just, he just discarded a root wall, though. Uh, man, <laughs> Mangoro. <laughs> if you play for twenty five years while still a virgin, you get magic powers. Yeah, it, I would. It's a scientific fact. I yeah. would gladly not take the magic powers. Yeah. I'll be completely honest there. <laughs> uh, so let's see. So modern frame lands. White border lands or bust? Uh, no, no. Gotta go black border. God. I was not playing competitively. Like this is when I took my break from Magic. Is when uh, right before Odyssey came out. Um, I didn't start till the original Mirrodin. It was Scourge. Scourge yeah. was what. Uh, all I know is that uh, Andrew just played a, uh, a Mutilate. Yes. So uh, those creatures just had minus. So what? Is, what era is this from? Isn't oh that? wait, no, Mutilate's from back in the day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It got reprinted in course set two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, two years ago. All right. So look at this. We got some people that actually like. Arrogant worm. Arrogant worm. I yeah. Just so saw, I didn't. I just saw the card. <laughs> I did not play competitively. Ah, oh, Cabal Coffers oh. is legal. That's so busted. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, this is like what six years before uh, uh, Urborg Tomb of Yogma. <laughs> yeah. Um. Not originally printed in Pauline Chase, by the way. <laughs> no, not originally originally. printed in Odyssey, I believe. Uh, I care about my lands. Yeah. I have like fifty. Oh, Avon plays on it. All right. Yeah. So now, like, this is uh, I not quite. That's a Marari. <laughs> what Jeez. is this deck doing? <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, uh, Tony's playing deep anal, so. Uh, deep analysis. Yeah. It's deep, deep analysis. It's Come deep on. Anal. This is a PG stream. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Shh. Uh. All right, so we'll bring up Marari. I'm going to have to just... just uh, be it's on. a five-mana artifact that allows you to copy spells that you cast for three. Yes. So there we go. Uh, Most recently for in Commander 2013. Cabal Coffer is making a lot of mana here. Yeah. And now he's Diabolic Tutoring. <laughs> and, and he's, he's going to copy it. it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that's happening. He's going to go get two cards. <laughs> uh, I like it. I like it. Uh, so this is pretty... It's great. Yeah. Uh, He's probably just getting two pieces of the combo to kill him. Yeah. I, I assume that. Oh, no. Oh, no, he got another, demo, another yeah. demonic, Diabolic Tutor. Yeah. Um, And something else. I don't see this Root Wallet getting there. Root Wallet has... What is... Let's bring up Basking Root Wallet. What else does it do besides... Uh, I think it gets... What is it? Touch plus Basking Root Wallet. Basking? Yeah. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah, you can give it plus two, plus two for pain. Okay. All right. 
So so yeah, it can attack as a three three. And I, then, I, had, I knew it had a way to. Oh, pop, and but that's and uh, that's yeah, and that's, that's a wild, wild mongrel. mongrel. Yeah, to, uh, s- discard cards to give it protection. Yeah. 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 But no, plus one, plus one. Yeah, and you get the color. It becomes uh, protection of the color. Yeah. No, it becomes the color. Oh, it becomes the color. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Which uh, color? T- specific colored. Um, effects matter a lot in that format. Deck on the left needs more treasure crews, I agree. Yes, unfortunately this deck was played roughly 10 years before treasure crews came out. <laughs> so, um, unfortunately that's not possible. Oh, did you check, was the 13 minutes actual? Yeah. It was? Yeah. Uh, I mean, James is not going to change it. So he just forgot to start the timer? No, he started it, it froze at some point. And it needed to be restarted. Ugh. Yeah. So he didn't. He wasn't sure how much time was actually left in the round. So he was just. Well, he going. should have just come back and asked us, because we have the time in round, uh, generally without a little bit. I, no, I know mongrel. Yeah, no, not mud. Yeah, I agree. I wish this is mud. Mud wasn't existing at the time. And and how do I not know wild mongrel? Because I don't. Because nobody played wild mongrel since 1998. <laughs> No, later than that. like this is what a two thousand three four deck. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. This is uh, uh, I don't like. I didn't play competitively back then, so like I played like kitchen table from revised God, until my old kitchen table decks were so bad. Revised until right before Odyssey yeah. came out, and then I didn't get back into magic like hard like I kept sticking my toes back in and like buying a couple packs every now and then and doing a little bit more yeah. tabletop but I didn't get in like competitive competitive until Lorowin. like my first um, deck was a shitty artifact deck for the Mirrodin block but I kept adding in old artifacts that I would find so I'd like put in Urza's Caltrops because I kept dying in my friend's mono white weenie deck. <laughs> Sometimes you get some cow traps. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so bad. All right, and so we're gonna. I'll we'll kick it back to the booth for a quick second. And we'll bring it back. Well, actually, no. I'll just uh, tell you I'll, guys. I'm gonna yeah. bring up Urza's cow traps because that card's terrible. Right. So the giveaway tonight, guys, is uh, four uh, Japanese baleful strix. So a full play set baleful strix, Japanese. Good things. Good things. Courtesy of MTG Card Market. Uh, they've been supporting all of our giveaways so far, so please, guys, if you guys like the giveaways, go to their Facebook page. Yeah, right, it was just Caltrops. <laughs> uh, go to their Facebook page, like it, tell them that you want to see more giveaways, and anything should be good. Um, so yeah, so that is, that's the, that's the giveaway. I've only been playing since Gate... Alright, so... If, if I played, if I played Vintage Masters, then sure. Or if yeah. I watched streams with Vintage Masters, then, like, I would've, I'd probably know a bit more. But Vintage uh, Masters was actually kind of boring to watch. It wasn't. It wasn't terrible. But like very few times, people actually got to build the cool decks that you wanted to build out of Vintage yeah. Masters. You're like, oh sweet, I have access to power in one in every like True. sixty packs. Um. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so why that I, would be. Why dare click on this? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, click on it. Let's see what it is. It's, uh, uh, I lost control of my life. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. That's 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 about. Needs more psychedelic. Par. Yes, there needs. Uh, I happen to know for a fact that uh, Andrew came in and bought two upheavals to play to build the oh. standard upheaval psychotog deck. Nice, nice. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad. Uh, but Johnny tight. But Johnny tight lips. What do I tell the doctor? Uh, you tell him you need a uh, good rub. Currently, Red Sox fans, thirty-two forty-four. This is old standard, like in two thousand four period. But yep. we're actually in the middle of a legacy, legacy event. Yes, we're waiting uh, for a match to finish. Yeah, we're waiting for a match to finish. They somehow got like a 13 minute time extension. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, Calixix. Unless, like, honestly, our chat's been very good about that. Yeah. Um, and I have not had to ban anybody from chat yet. Um, hey, Crimson. I mean, favorite. and once, uh, I mean, once. Uh, if somebody like just posts like straight dongs like constantly, then like straight dongs, uh, not those curvy dongs. No, straight uh, dongs. They're hard. Yeah. They're uh, nice, firm, firm. Something you can grab onto. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, then then these, we have to go to the questions and these, things. These these cow trips and I'm gonna put uh, psychotog. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, and Crimson, how you doing? How you doing, Crimson? So this was one half of the old Psychotog deck. Um, what this card is, is you can discard cards from your hand to give it plus one, plus one, or exile cards from your graveyard to give it plus one, plus one. Oh hey, let's let's try to let's try to do a poll again. Yeah. So that way that. we can we can actually list everything. So let's actually remove. I don't want. We just saw lands. Hawks is not going to be not going to want to go on. Neither is this bug deck. Where are you, Cullen? All right. So we'll put. Uh, so we'll do bug delver. Bug delver's one option. Yep. Added. Um. Storm. Uh, I don't. Excuse me. I knew the storm wanted to get. Uh, some people want to see storm happen. Yeah. Here. So we can we can probably do that. Uh, Omni tell we just saw. Yes, we are. So we can do. We'll do shardless. Shardless would be sweet. Unfortunately, I think they're uh, one one now. So. Nickfit is Ben on Nickfit. Uh, no, that's uh, oh Dominic. Dominic's on Nickfit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So ben is on Pox. Uh, so Nickfit. Uh, we already saw dredge. So let's. Uh, we we'll, already we'll, saw one lands. We'll we'll do it. We'll do it after this. We'll we'll leave it at that. We just saw lands. I don't want to put lands back on camera. Yeah, go ahead and vote for uh, one of those four decks if you want to see those on camera. Uh, vote dredge is not gonna work because we we've already seen it tonight. And vote it, fuck Dilver. And it totally <laughs> destroyed uh, Strawberry Shortcake. Yes. In particularly in game three where he had the nuts on turn two. All right, guys, and if anybody uh, if anybody does not know how to do the voting, you yes. exclamation mark vote in lowercase, and then exact, uh, you need to do exactly what I typed in. So your best bet is just to copy and paste there. Uh, Sean Hain, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. So the other part of the uh, Psychotog uh, combo was uh, upheaval. Which is uh, return all permits to their owner's hands, and so you you float a bunch of mana, you out people, you play Psychotog, discard down the hand size. When it comes back to your turn, discard your hand, exile your graveyard, and kill them. Yep. Usually they don't have a way to deal with that since uh, was uh, was innocent blood legal at the time? I think it was. I do not recall. But I don't think people were playing innocent blood. Yeah, and then Richard and Port. Uh, doesn't wonder. Wanna... Wonder is on the field right now, by the way. It happens. It <laughs> happens. Um, so Psychotog, uh, or excuse Actually, me, Rishon and Port, uh, bringing back a good point. Uh, a world with Cobblade. I didn't hate that so much. I didn't Cobblade hate... was. It was a very good deck. Yes, but if you built it to, but be, it's you basically could. the same deck as Legacy. Right, so <laughs> we're uh, so Targle. Thank you for following. I swear to God, some people have followed our. God, I want to play a deck called uh, Invalid Vote. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that'd be so, amazing. <laughs> actually, I'm surprised that Invalid Vote is only four four percent. Of course, yeah. now that we've said that, so that's going to go up a lot. Um, I'm going to brew a deck and call it Invalid Vote. <laughs> no, uh, so all right. So Storm, Storm. It looks Storm. like Storm yep. is overwhelmingly. Uh, Which makes sense. Storm is also 2 So all right, cool. Then yeah, we we'll, can see uh, a winning match on camera. We'll get we'll get Mr. Silverman on uh, yep. camera and whatnot. Um, um, so uh, for those who aren't familiar with Cobblade, Cobblade centered around Jace the Mind Sculptor. By the way, these were all standard legal together at the time. This is absurd. Uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Uh, it also ran Cobblade as a, uh, sorry, not Cobblade, uh, Squadron Hawk. Yeah, Squadron Hawk. Uh, which is spelled with a Q, not a W. Uh, <laughs> Squadron Hawk as a draw engine. Yeah. So play a Squadron Hawk, get three more Squadron Hawks, brainstorm them away. Uh, uh, crack a fetch, because fetch lands were legal. Yep. Brainstorm was legal. Not brainstorm, sorry. Uh, Ponder was legal. Preordain was legal. Uh, uh, our good friend Stoneforge Stone Mystic was legal, along with all of the best swords and everybody's favorites. Mr. Batterskull. Mr. Batterskull. Yeah, this, so that was good. This deck was absurd. This deck uh, was 94% of the meta by the time they banned Stoneforge Mystic and Jace. Yeah, really. or, or at least that's the percentage of each of those cards being in decks yes. at the time. Yeah, too, too little too late. It was two months before they rotated out that they banned them. <laughs> It was yeah they, um, they waited way too long there and I then M Grisha which Mr Great Pupan that's how I'm gonna read that Great thank Poupon. you for following much yeah. appreciated oh Mana Leak was legal too Mana Leak was legal <laughs> thank you Mike not as good in that deck um, it still played it it still played it but it was way better than the Delver deck right, that came out wanna... okay you want to tell Phil either way yeah. it sounds like the rounds finally getting back underway. 
Um, yeah. All right. So, guys, the uh, f we're finally getting underway here again. Um, so this should be uh, should be good. We're gonna get we're gonna get Mr. Phil, Mr. Phil Sorbelman, Sober Shubba 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 Bob Bob. Uh, we're gonna get him in 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 the thing with Jigger, and uh, let's see what tide he sits on, and uh, we should be good. Well, uh, I'll go ahead and bring up uh, uh, tendrils of agony. This is the wind condition for storm. Yeah. Dredge versus Storm. Oh, dr all right. Dredge versus Storm. This is going to be whoever's on the play. That is that is what is about to happen. So, while, it was, while Callblade was legal, I played a really shitty blue-white control deck that was centered around the card Clone Shell. Uh, for those who don't know, Clone Shell is a five-mana 2-2 two -two that when it enters, the, enters play, you only top more cards in your library. You exile one face down. Put the other back on the bottom of your library. And if it dies, you reveal it, and if it's a creature, it comes into play. So I would cheat out Emrakul and Iona and Kozlikt and Frost Titan with this. Which, uh, uh, I actually had a really good combo matchup because I ran main board, uh, Solemn Offerings to kill my own, uh, Clone Gels. <laughs> sometimes you gotta kill them. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you gotta kill them yourself because your post's not gonna do it for you. Oh, goodness. Oh, by the way, in the standard, Valakut was legal. So was Splinter Twin. So yes. was So was uh, Pyromancer's Ascension. Yep. Yeah. Was, and you and you had the you had the the busted deck. This is also just the beginning of like when people like net decking. Yeah. And like in the SCG open, like really starting to grow. Yeah. Um and whatnot, and then uh, yeah. So it was there was a there was a deck that came out. Um, there's a deck that came out that was uh, just dominated a bunch of tournaments, and this was a week before the, or excuse me, three weeks before the ban, yeah. and it was winning every tournament up until that point, and it was basically they basically took Splinter Twin and Cobblade and, and just jammed, jammed them together. together. Yeah, and it yeah. was just insane. Because the Seaver Eggs are legal, Splinter Twin was legal. Oh man, that was that was such yeah. a diverse but not diverse. Uh, Meta. Ever. Yeah, it was I mean, not uh, not great. But um, all right, so looks like they're about to starting. You're fine. Um, and Kevin's on the play. All right, gemstone mine coming down. Uh, three counters down to two. Uh, careful study. We're gonna see some stuff. Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, Vengevine was also legal. That was actually a really sweet de deck. Uh, Fauna Shaman Vengevine. Yes. Yeah, that was also a really sweet deck in that format. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, where's Goblins? You didn't write Goblins down on this list. It, it's on there. No. It's above Storm. Oh, no, my God. This is terrible. Write in the list, Chuck. We've got we to figure this out. <laughs> uh, why uh, does it have to be banned? In, what's banned in Legacy? Uh, survival of the fittest. Yeah, you don't. That's fine. Uh, because have you played the card? <laughs> <laughs> you go basking root wall, basking root wall, uh, into vengevine, kill you. <laughs> uh, and I also like to point out that you don't see two gemstone mines facing each other too, very often. Not in legacy. Yeah, so uh, we'll bring that up. Basically, you get three counters on it. You get to remove a counter, uh, make any color of mana. Uh, when you tap the land, so it should be good. But it looks like we're gonna cabal therapy here. I don't know. It looks like Kevin did a big old whiffy whiff. Uh, On his cabal therapy. Yeah. yeah. But he's probably this got some other is things. Not super threatening. No, not. Yeah. Not at all. He's gonna be able to play another land and then. And then careful, careful study. study again. Yeah. But it, I don't think he has any. But Phil has enough enough cantrips that. Probably two turns from now, at the very latest, he could kill Kevin. Yeah, and it doesn't look like... I mean, like... So, I can see why Kevin kept this hand. It's just because yeah. of the multiple rituals. Um, Not rituals. Therapies? Oh, sorry. Cabal therapies. Yeah. Um, Cabal therapy. One black sorcery. Uh, name a card. Target player reveals his or her hand and discards all cards with that name. Flashback of sacrifice a creature. Uh is a staple in the dredge deck as a way to sacrifice your creatures from the graveyard 
as well as get cards out of your hand and remove uh, disruptive components from your opponent's hands. Yeah. Uh, also played in the Storm deck uh, for the same reasons, uh, except for the sacrifice from Graveyard. Um, uh, very key card in this matchup. <laughs> yeah. Very, very key card. And it looks like... Uh... Looks like Phil is just going to go down to 17 here, casting the Cataxian Probe for free. Um, and then I'm looking, and uh, yeah, Kevin's still with no dredgers. Like, yeah, I, really awkward hand. Yeah, I don't. He's I don't had, know. what, three draw steps or something by now? Yeah, and, and with the I've two seen, careful stuff. So he's seen six cards. He should have seen the dredger by now. This is Ben. Yeah, this is just. This is just rough. I mean, Phil did a little fun dance, and it looked like Phil had yeah. three Lotus Petals on top of his deck. So he's going to shuffle that away. So Kevin's got to be at least happy that there's a shuffle card. I, like, I can understand how Phil feels. I've I've topped and seen three tops, and then cracked a fetch and topped again, and seen two more, and everyone's like, uh, you never want to see stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and apparently, I don't know, there's a whole lot of talk about Treasure Cruise. I don't think it's going to get banned. I don't uh, think it's that bad. So, okay, and then... Uh, Phil just Cabal therapied out uh, Kevin's Breakthrough, which is probably the best card for Kevin to get back into this game. But it also gave him Threshold, so now he can crack this <laughs> Cephalicosian. <laughs> oh, chat. I love, so, I love oh, chat. Oh, yeah, the guy who's like, you guys... Uh, are, uh, no, no, I mean, we're not going to organize it, but people trolling, yeah. and then uh, but not knowing... Well, and then also not knowing how to spell or yeah, yeah. speak correct English when asking to be spoken to in English. <laughs> yes. I like I like the Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> like, hola. Uh, I wish I knew more Spanish so I could, like, do this. All right, so we're going to see uh, hey. Cabal Therapy get flashback. He's going to name Brainstorm. He's going to get two of them, which, which is, is pretty good. Which is good, good. yes. Yeah. Um, um, hitting the Cabal Ritual, uh, fairly relevant. This is the only uh, ritual effect at the moment. I hope he follows. I hope <laughs> P-Bomb57, will you please follow? Yeah, I, I appreciate it. I'll take it. it. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, bring up Cephalic Coliseum again. Um, I want to make sure... Ceph... How the fuck you... L-P-H. Ceph? No. Uh, sorry. E P H L. Uh, see him? All right, here you do it. I'm gonna keep watching. Yeah. What? Our Phil just hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. He cracked the fetch for Yes. Uh, correct. Yep. Which is what I have to adjust the life total. There Dude, you go. There you go. Uh. Uh, there we go. All right, cool. Now give me this. Does not say activate. At sorcery speed, so Kevin could be considering doing this at the end of Phil's turn to and draw a bunch of cards and discard, and hopefully, uh, and then play his second Coliseum next turn and crack that one to dredge. Yeah, and then uh, and Crimson uh, not banned because honestly, uh, honestly, I'm enjoying the counter trolling that is happening to him. Also, has he said anything besides that first comment? No. Uh, yeah. And then he then he just spoke bro broken English, uh, and uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm I'm yeah, and I think he pieced out. Uh, oh, it looks like Phil's just gonna kill him here. Okay, so I'll let I'll let that happen while we're talking because Phil, when Phil chooses to go off, very rarely does he ever not. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah. So the reason why I didn't like do it, he said one thing and he wasn't like constantly, and I felt that you guys as chat, um, were. Uh, handling it relatively enough and I saw that Zexies was here so I was kind of leaving that to them um, like if somebody was saying actually like something abusive yeah. uh, and like you and like it seemed like it was like crickets in chat and people weren't necessarily pushing back then I wouldn't have done it it may not be the best way to handle it and I'll try to figure that out moving forward um, but uh, but yeah so I mean like that's kind of uh, uh, oh, oh no oh. P bomb, come on, follow us. We're sticking up for you. Follow us. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I just want him to follow. Uh, I mean, because I. Oh, P bomb, do you know what spit roast is? Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, Zexies, get get uh, get him out of here. Get him out of yeah. here, Zexies. 
Uh, but, uh, yeah. No, that, uh, This, this draw did not come together for, uh, Kevin. No, and there's yeah. the ad nauseum. So, yep. or excuse me, the, uh, tendrils. The tendrils. So, for way more than lethal. So, way more than lethal. All right, we'll pay attention to this. All right, and so that's done. Oh, you're doing a play with it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Uh, all good. right, there we go. All looks right. like uh, looks like he's been. Because I don't know how to. You can time out. There we go. Bam. Bye bye. Gone. I think. Yeah, but I think he's it gone. Already been happened. Oh, you abandoned him a oh. bunch of times. Oh, but just, <laughs> just infabam. <laughs> infabam. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Like, I mean, to be fair, this is the first time that's really come up. Yeah. Where I've had somebody just be straight hateful consistently. Uh, but he is one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, five banned. Five banned. Five banned. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, he's banned five ever. Uh, yeah. That was a terrible So game. we'll, we'll see. Uh, All right. So. Zexy not doing their damn job. Yep. So, Phil. Alex, I'm coming for you. Coming for you. Uh, anyway. Phil, Phil was Phil bridging in this matchup. I have no idea, and like, I mean I like well because like stays the same time yeah I mean right. same He's, same thing with Kevin I yeah. mean Kevin's no, Kevin really... brings in Lotus Puddles sure because yeah. he wants to go a little faster he wants to he wants to kill uh, hey thanks that's to be I appreciate that uh, oh so wait Zexy's banned him too everybody yeah. banned him <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, Sinatius, assholes are not welcome unless you're Mark correct that is not Shrouds fired that is <laughs> that is just correct. Uh, turns out, I believe Kevin's game plan here is to bring in uh, Lotus Petals and uh, Iona uh, and take out the Pugilums. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, okay, Iona's yeah. cool. I mean, like the only problem is like the reason why I try not to commentate is because I don't know what's in the, or, like when I don't I don't talk about really what's in their boards because I have zero clue what's in their boards, so I, I don't want to speculate I on cards to Kevin, that, that they... I talk to Kevin and Phil kind of a lot about e the matchups with each of them and what's in their boards. So, okay, well, yeah. sure. There we go. So there we go. Uh, so uh, how many Coliseums does he I run? I think he runs the full four. Uh, and Zexies, what are you saying Mark please for? Mark please. Uh, uh, or is that like a sassy Mark please? And banned him. Oh, no. I think he was assuming that he wouldn't do his job. Oh, and no, no, Zexies, no. I know, I know. Do your job. No, I know. Zexies yeah. won't do his job. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, like that's, that's. Uh, 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 secret mod. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Um, <laughs> nice. No, nah, it's sexy. It's sexy. It is entirely <laughs> a race, uh, Gibson. Yeah, and I mean, like, honestly, Kevin was just, like, I think Kevin valued those Cabal Therapies a little too much, um, and that's really where we saw the downfall I think there. Phil was in really big trouble if he didn't go off that turn or the turn afterwards. Like, he needed to hit off those Brainstorm Yeah, but monsters. you can't give Storm, like, six turns no, no, to do, no, no, like, not nothing. All. Yeah. But, like, with what uh, Kevin had his graveyard and the fact he had two Coliseums, like, he was gonna, he was gonna explode out of there the next turn. <laughs> I also like to say, fat shot! Fat shot! <laughs> to Zexy. But it's okay. Alex knows I love him. He's going to be, uh, and Alex Zexy is going to be commentating modern come this, uh, come to Wednesday. So you guys nice. can all, uh, uh, be there. It should be good things. I gotta I've, I've yet to actually tune in on the Wednesday stream. Yeah. No, it's, uh, the Wednesday stream's good. The Wednesday I stream's heard, good. I heard good things mm -hmm. about it. I just. It's my one day off. I don't really want to think about magic. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, they have, uh, like, uh, Ryan and Sydney who do it normally. They're far more wholesome stream. Whole, very wholesome. Very. Uh, Sydney and Ryan, very, uh, especially Sydney, God bless him, uh, very businesslike when he, uh, ex like, meticulating it. He's about as meticulous as I am with how everything should be run, yep. um, which is definitely saying something. Um but yeah, they're they're a little bit less assholey and like jokester asshole or like jack off than I am. Um, but the the commentary is generally pretty good. They say some funny things. Uh, people like looking at Ryan. So uh, Ryan's a it works. Sexy beast. Yeah, but again, he doesn't have a bread. I at least I've got nice hair and bread. 
<laughs> All right, so <laughs> Tell me he's like realize what you're saying again. Uh, it looks like <laughs> Phil Mulligan, yeah, which is always rough to do in Star Wars. Uh, and thank God Kevin doesn't run Wasteland because honestly, this isn't a terrible hand for Phil. Um, it's one land and a bunch of cantrips, so he'll be able to sculpt a pretty good hand from there. Yeah. Uh, Kevin go going to go down to 19 here uh, from uh, that city of uh, city of Brass. I'm surprised he hasn't switched over to Ma- Mana Confluence. He has some in his deck. That might be Mana Confluence number five. All right, so, uh, but we've seen we've seen City of Brass a whole bunch. Though. Yeah. So maybe he's just missing a few. Uh, Phil's just gonna go ahead and get Taxing Pro, paying two life, gonna go down to eighteen. Kevin with two bridges in hand and a uh, flame a flame can zell it. Uh, yeah. That must have come in from the board because yes. he doesn't. Yeah, that, he, that's an yeah. instant kill. Yeah. Um, like if if that was main board, he could have killed him. Uh, if he was able to untap the next turn. Uh, let's. Uh, There's a dash. Yeah. Is there? Yep. Flame. Wait, between Flamekin? Yeah, I believe so. Yep. All right, that's I know weird. Way too many cards. <laughs> well, they have yeah, some Flamekins yeah. that there isn't, so that's weird. So basically, when it enters the battlefield, all your creatures get plus one plus one and gain haste. Um, so you make three so three zombies. Good things. Good things. Phil gonna play. Oh, did Phil? Oh, Phil played another Cataxian probe, so he's gonna go down probe to twice and then play the Lion's Eye. Yeah. Um, and then Kevin dredged one of the stinkweed MC out in the yard. Hits two Eckrids, but not another dredger, which but he does isn't great. Have a careful study in hand. Rutro, <laughs> thank you for following. Much appreciated. Uh, uh, that's good. I like Rutro. <laughs> uh, this dredge hits Iona and uh, Golgari Grave Girl, and he's just gonna draw for the second one. Uh, let's and discard two stinkweed MCs and break through. All right, this this is a really good turn for Kevin. If Kevin just doesn't die the next turn, he can probably just win the game. <laughs> Tenacious. Yeah, I mean it's just a little. I'm a little less assholey. It's it, or well, they're a little assholey. Uh, hashtag assholes. Uh, uh, he looks like he hit a cabal therapy and another narcomuba. This is really really good for him. Yeah. Uh, he has two bridges in hand, and he's gonna have to discard his hand anyway. Yeah. So then. He's going to make a shit ton of zombies, and he just hit the dread return. So this game, I believe, is over. Yeah, you just I own a black. No, you don't I own a black. You just you sack the three Narcomavis, get a bunch of zombies, uh, yeah. bring back Flamekins, uh, kill him. Oh. Well, you know what? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> you can do that, too, if you want. I was thinking I was thinking there's two dread returns. All right, so never mind. <laughs> I mean, if he has two dread returns, he does that, too, because uh, Iona's going to hit harder than those guys. Yeah, uh... So get those bridges in the yard. Yep. Yeah, I think that's all, right. all four. Yeah. Yeah, it's all four. Yeah. Or no, it's just three. It's, no, yeah, it's three. It's three. three. Two in the hand, but it still one makes that nine was in the zealots. yard. Nine times three is 27. Yeah, he's dead. And here's a breakthrough. He's actually at 17, I believe. Yeah. From taking two damage off his lands this turn. Um, and he's going to Cabal Therapy first, probably. I don't see why, but... Uh... Naming something? I literally don't think there's anything Phil can do at instant speed that will prevent him from not yeah. dying here. All right, so he's going to brainstorm in response to the Cabal Therapy. And uh, Cabal Therapy isn't, hasn't named anything yet, correct? No. Or it, it should It names name. on resolution. Yeah. All right, that's what I thought. Um, so let's see. Uh, the difference between... So what is the difference between High Tide and Storm? Um, so High Tide goes off... Uh, using brain freeze, which mills the opponent. It can. Um, I feel like or, it's more popular when condition nowadays is just blue sun zenith because it doesn't lose to Emberpool. Yeah, cool. Yes, um, and basically that's they're decking somebody. Yeah. Where storm is trying to basically drain you to death with tendrils of agony, um, and the methods in which they go about achieving those two things are differently. So right. high tide plays high tide. Phil skips it up. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, was, After his hand's just gone. That was a pretty easy call. Yeah. Um, so high, uh, high tide plays the card high tide, which we'll bring that up. Um, high tide is a one blue instant that makes all islands, yours and your opponents, tap for an additional blue. Yeah. So uh, this effect does stack with multiple casts of high tide in a single turn. Uh, oftentimes noted by someone keeping track of number of high tides cast in a turn. Um, as a as like a die on the field. Yeah, and so basically, um, basically, high tide is trying to make just silly amounts of mana, um, and then cast 
uh, like a Blue Sun Zenith or uh, in the process of making lots of mana, their storm count goes really high, so they yep. use Brain Freeze, um, which is... It's a storm for t one and a blue instant uh, target player mills three cards. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh, Whereas Storm is trying to, basically, that's just trying to sculpt a hand, get just enough spells to cast Ad Nauseam Tendrils. Or, excuse me, not, Jesus Christ, Ad Nauseam Tendrils. Oh, well, it's trying to cast Ad Nauseam Tendrils. Yes. Yeah. But it's mostly trying to cast Tendrils of Agony. Which then, uh, target player loses two life, and then you gain two life. Yeah. Um, uh, you'll notice. So, so that, like, in a, in a nutshell, like, and simplistically, that is the biggest difference to the two decks. It's the win conditions. Yeah. Um, you'll notice that uh, High Tide also tends to run a lot more... is a little bit safer sometimes because it gets to run um, Counter Magic, whereas yep. Storm usually doesn't. It also runs things... usually runs things like um, uh, Time Spiral? Yeah, Time yes. Spiral. Or, in the case of Solidarity, a card called Reset. Yes. And Solidarity and High Tide, for the purposes of somebody that's doesn't really play Legacy, and they're not necessarily in the Legacy scene a whole bunch. They're the same deck, they just go off at different times. Uh, yes. Yeah. Solidarity goes off at instant speed only on your opponent's turn, because it uses the card Reset. Yep. Which I should probably bring up for you. Um, whereas, uh, the regular old High Tide runs uh, Time Spiral, which is like Reset, except it shuffles everybody's hands and graveyards into their, uh, into her decks, and then each player draws seven cards. Yeah. Uh, then he untaps seven lands. Six lands. Yeah. Six lands? So, I think uh, it's six lands. wait, reset? Or no, time spiral? I think no, I think it's just you tap, untap your lands. I think it's, I think it's a number of lands. I don't know, bring it up. It's irrelevant for the most part. <laughs> oh, yeah, six lands. Six untapped. lands. It's, okay. it's usually all yeah, those untap effects are the number of lands yeah. used to cast the spell. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. There we go. And, uh, and then, uh, yeah, so Etsubi's got a pretty good summation there in chat. Yeah. Um, and then Storm versus Dredge. The, what's, what's the question? Uh, despite being a Dredge player. More broken I'm, mechanics? A, a sure. Dredge, I feel, wasn't that broken. Like, it's it's been claimed a mistake by Watsi, uh, and it can lead you very broken things. Watsi being Wizards of the Coast. Yeah. Um, but in general, the... Um, the game, the deck itself, and the mechanic isn't too bad. Yeah. On the on large scale thing, I feel like delve is a more busted uh, mechanic. Sure. Um, and then so the game has started. Uh, Phil let off with the uh, skeleton tarn, fetched for a uh, underground sea, and then to rest and got that cabal therapy out of uh, Kevin's hand. Kevin is stuck with a bunch of dredgers, but no way to get rid of. Yeah, so Kevin was leaning very, and that was a very quick pick from uh, Phil as well. Yeah, uh, Kevin uh, was leaning pretty heavily on that. I think that was the therapy. only legal target. Oh, really? I okay. think it's all creatures and a land and uh, cabal therapy. Ah, okay. Um, so let's see. So Phil's going to go down to uh, eighteen here. Yeah, I mean, like, really, this matchup just really, really is just whoever's on the play. Yeah. Um. I, I, you get a I hard... feel like Storm is even still more more favored. Really, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Uh, because if if Kevin was on the play here, this would be a completely different game. He could ball therapies the a dredger in the yard, and then he's going. He's doing his thing. That's still kind of slow for dredge. Uh, but I think he yeah he has a thug, so he can get things going this turn. Uh, I believe he has a second land, so he can play the thug and flashback of all therapy, name probably Brainstorm. Okay. He might name Dark Ritual. Or he's, or he's going to shoot himself. He might shoot himself, but he already he's already putting a dredger in the yard. And I think it's more important for him to try and uh, slow things down on the other end. Wait, why did that come, not come up? What are you looking for? Thug. Oh, well, Golgari Thug. Well, yeah, but... It normally comes up Golgari. Yeah. Uh, Emerson G. Oh. Um. Well, yeah, he did Cabal Therapy himself and discarded both uh, Grave Trolls. Yeah. Alright, which is which is fine. Which like, is fine. It, it furthers your game plan. Yeah, it looks like 
Phil's got a chunk of mana. So we'll we'll see what happens. Kevin's going to have to get some good dredges here, though. Because it looks like Phil's got a Dark Ritual. I think that's a Gataxian Probe. A Definitely got Lotus Petal. Lotus Petal and a uh, Infernal Tutor. So that's a that's a hand that can do stuff. Yeah, because he's got one land in play, so he plays the land and then he just shits out his hand. Yeah. So uh, Phil gonna go down to sixteen here, uh, casting that probe for free uh, uh, after really the preordain. And then what did he pull? Uh, another probe. Another probe. I think he's gonna try to kill him this yeah. turn. Oh, and that's a chain of vapors that he has. In yeah. Hand. Okay. So Phil down to fourteen here. Probably not gonna matter. Um. Yeah. No, I agree. Feline, uh, feline is probably the best uh, uh, high tide player. She's pretty good at solidarity as well. Uh, but yeah, it's just not a great deck at the moment. Main deck so. pyroblasts are really rough. Yeah, I mean it's just hard. Yeah, uh, it's hard. Treasure crews are good for the deck though. Yeah. Oh, and here's a lion's eye diamond. So I th Actually, think Phil is just set. Phil's just gonna win this turn. No, solidarity wanted. Um, it didn't want treasure crews. It wanted uh, dig through time. Dig through time. Yeah. So, all right. So, Storm's at two. We see a Lotus Petal, Lion's Eye Diamond. We're going to probably see... Uh, all right. So, yeah. There's the Dark Ritual. Uh, we're probably going to see a Chain of Vapors on... On the Narc Amoeba. On the Narc Amoeba. Um, I actually... Might actually, no. That's... No, I think he's just going to... I think he's just going to bounce his two okay. artifacts over yeah. and over. Which is fine. Okay. Yeah. It's a cheap way to make an extra Storm. All right, so yeah, so he sacks a land chain. Like, let's bring up chain of vapors here. Um, chain of vapor. Uh, so chain of vapor, basically, you can repeat the spell by casting, sacrificing a land um, if you were the one that targeted by the spell. Um, so storm is now at. Does, do you get? Does that count towards? It does two? not ca cast the second copy. Okay, it just puts a copy on the stack. All right, so he's at four, five, six storm right now. And uh, no, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. So six storm, and then uh, needs to make uh, three more happen, and then cast tendrils. Um, which he might be stuck. Yeah, let's see. How much mana does he have floating? He's got. I think he has to get uh, past in flames at this point. He's got three black mana floating, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. So he's got three black mana, um, which he's going to use two of it to cast this. He has one black floating. And storm is now seven. Yeah. So he yeah he just goes and gets uh, yeah he gets past in flames. Yep. Yeah. So storm is now seven. He's got probably three red, three black. Um, I think that's what those fingers were donating or or, or whatever ring. I think it doesn't matter which he what color he names because he has a volcanic island and a swamp untapped, and he's already floating in a black. Yeah. Sure. So I think what he, what color he named with flying eye is mostly irrelevant. Yeah, so I mean, he's got to get he's got to storm twice. Yeah. Yeah, which which he'll be able to do. Yeah. Do you want to do you want to go yell that storm is at seven? <laughs> nah, he, he he's got it. Okay. Yeah. Looks look. Phil, <laughs> Phil marks it down on a sheet of paper next to him. Yeah. Uh, no more two hundred fifty dollar duels. What do we? Oh, mantle dredge. God, don't don't push people towards mantle dredge. That, Play that burn. That's so bad. Play burn. Burn is better. Burn, burn. is burn is better for sheep. Yeah. Oh, he's getting ad nauseum. I do not agree with this play. No, you just because so you've got a mana a... floating. And he's ad nauseum, and he's at sixteen. I've seen him die from this point. No, before. you got yeah, because you have two probes here. Yeah, he, he um, should have gotten past in flames. Yeah, because you have two probes, so you just cast past in flames, probe twice, playing with mana and dark. Oh, ritual. he might be wrong on number of uh, amount of mana he had floating. He might not have that extra black. Uh, I mean, which is he, why he tapped. Well, no, the, he played a dark ritual. Whatever. Yeah. Either way, I gotta. Uh, we gotta do this. So he is at. <laughs> out five. So he's at nine. <laughs> so he's a nine. He might just stop there. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So, let me bring up ad nauseum. Um. While he's tanking. Uh, he's going. He's at eight. He's at seven. Eight, seven. Uh, I think, yeah, he stops there. He takes yeah. those two. Yeah, I agree. This was a little bit of a riskier yeah. play. Yeah. Right. And there's the rest of the storm. So he's going to pop a lot. He's going to pop a lotus petal to be able to cast Infernal Tutor. Or, excuse me, um, Dark Ritual. And then he's going to tap the one mana that he had up. 
um, to then cast uh, Tendrils of Agony. Yep. Um, all right, so here I'll go. Uh, I'll go try to find another uh, right. another match. Oh, all right, we, go, we can do talk about Cobbly standard if you want. Here, rep the, uh, oh, I can do let's, that. Let's yeah. not do that. Let's rep, rep, rep. So, this is the giveaway. Nobody wants to talk about Cobbly. <laughs> um, I didn't say Cobbly, I meant that standard format. Uh, so here's a giveaway tonight. It is for uh, Japanese Baleful Strix. Um, to win these today, you have to be following uh, Wooberg. Um best way to do that is just hit the follow button honestly um i do also wish the walking dead was a good deck um problem is it's just too fragile it, it loses to too many to too many cards in the format that are popular like um it has some amazing tools uh uh it gets to run Cabal Therapy, which we saw was an all-star in that, in that match. It gets to run uh, some of the most resilient and recursive creatures in the format, and can even semi-combo out with enough mana and uh, Blood Artist and uh, Goblin, Bombard and, Gabard, Bo, ah, Goblin Bombardment and um, Engravecrawler. Uh, the problem is it's just its bad matches are so bad. It cannot block anything. You block a hey, Tim. Uh, was that twenty thousand ninety seven? Uh, thanks for following. It cannot block. It dies to Batterskull pretty bad, which is rough. It it its only answer to Batterskull is a sack outlet and lingering souls, which is not a good game plan. Uh, Zoo and Legacy is a good deck, uh, Paul. It's not a great deck. <laughs> uh, start of this deck, around Smallpox. I mean, Smallpox in Charlotte's Bug is kind of cute, because if you cast it on an empty board, then you don't have to sack anything, and they do, and then you get a creature afterwards. So that's kind of cute. I also like it with a sinkhole to, to just knock out some lands. Uh, but that's really taxing your mana. You're asking for blue, green, and double black. Uh, Verbal Wanderer, thanks for joining. Um, Shardless Agent is the premier card of any Shardless deck, hence the name type. Uh... Yeah, The Walking Dead has super cool uh, guy points. Um, you did not miss the tournament. Um, uh, we are currently in round three, waiting for another match. Um, Paul, I can't guarantee you'll get those uh, those Baleful Strixes. You just have to be following and hopefully win our, our tournament. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know if I'd give them to Paul. Nah. I'll be completely honest. <laughs> yes, and, yes, they're they're playing you green with double black for him, but then you're also asking them to play like four, three or four more other double black cards. Did you get these? I got Tim and Verbal Wanderer. I think those came. And then Calix, thank you for follow, and Ringo Death Star, thank you for. That's actually I like that. Thank you for the follow, and then Asinian, thank you for the follow. Much, much, much appreciated. Um, so we might be getting Lands versus Nick Fit. Yeah, um, be an interesting I'm match. not quite sure who they're in game two. Not sure who won game one. Um, Does how Lance has run any basics besides a forest? Uh, I don't know. I think it runs but, one forest. But either way, Nick Fit had a Elish Norn, or not an Elish Norn, um, a Merit Lage token, yep. a Primeval Titan, All right. a uh, uh, Knight of the Reliquary, a Scavenging Ooze. And something else all swinging. So I don't know how much is going on there. Azumi uh, Arnold, thanks for following. And then Aspagadanot, thank you for following. <laughs> I was going to you for the town. <laughs> <laughs> I pronounced that one. This is Aspagadanot. Uh, next match is either going to be in 15 minutes when the round is up, or hopefully sooner than that, uh, as soon as the players finish yeah. game two and can move over. Yes. Uh, Ideally... Ideally, it's going to be actually. Yeah. It's, going, it's going to be round. It's going to be game three. If that's going to happen, so I'll leave that there. Yeah. Um, 
And then uh, KOTV. Yep. Uh, so what we were talking about. Thank you for the follow. This, yep, remember sorry. this uh, shardless pox deck that we were talking about? Uh, Wait, actually, are, you, are you guys actually like debating a no, list right no, now? No, no, like, that... kind of, I, I do like the idea of shardless aging <laughs> into small box. Because you keep your shardless agent. Uh, yeah, you yeah you keep the shardless agent. Sure. They sack a dude. They sack a land. You sack a land. You discard a card. So you're you're <laughs> you're bug pox at this you're bug, point. You're bug pox with shardless agents. And you're already playing. Oh, you just you're, play. You just yeah, play. You're already running him. And you just play veteran explorer, yeah. right? Because it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. No, you don't play. No, no, you it's don't so play. Bad. No, you don't play veteran. <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> Veteran Explorer, if you guys don't know, we'll bring it up. Veteran Explorer is uh, the clutch to uh, Nick Fit decks, most notably regular old Nick Fit and um, uh, the Birthing Pod variant. Basically, when it dies, each player gets to go get, what, uh, two, two basics basic and, and put them into play, play untapped. untapped. Yeah, it's good things. It's good things. Yeah. Uh, so... All right, uh, let's see. I love... Wait, Begin. wait, wait, wait. There was an I love. There was an I love. I love hearing these guys trying to pronounce my nonsense name. Uh, <laughs> you, even when it's not, there's a there's a guy that's like, oh, oh, Colbot, oh, oh. Um, his name is Okolakalaka Bakalakalto. Uh, um, this is Tim20097. No, that's... Yeah. I, actually, I can't. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, that's 20097. <laughs> Uh, is, are there people sitting? I believe there are people down getting ready to sit down. No, they're sitting at the other end of the table. I'm not quite sure why they might be getting their stuff from the first from the That's first fair. match we had. Uh, Delver standard was not sweet, Paul. It was not. <laughs> it was a bunch of Delver decks playing against each other, and Kessa Wolf Run trying to hedge it. Yeah. Um, am I Seth Rogen's brother? Perhaps yes. I'm. Yeah. So, so no, many I'm people just say, fucking you are, say it. You're Seth Rogen's brother. It's either it's like I either get Seth Rogen or I get uh, the guy that played Crunk, or the guy that voiced Crunk from uh, Emperor's New Groove. Oh, all right. Uh, he does a lot of voice acting. Oh, um, the guy who yeah. does uh, Joe from Family Guy. Yes, and, he does Joe from. And, yep. Uh, yep. 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 Uh, Venture Brothers. Uh, Brock Samson. Brock Samson. Yep. Yep. Uh, any idea? I have an idea that I'm going to be playing something ridiculous. My deck got better and the others are playing it. Uh, okay, uh, I don't care if I lose Delver or something. I'm guessing you play Burn, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Shut up, Chuck. I love Everyb Delver. Everybody uh, loved Delver during that format. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! is better than MGG. Mm, uh, debatable. Uh, <laughs> um, MGG has an awesome benefit where 90% of the cards you can actually read from across the table. Wait, Delver rhymes with Hitler, so they're banning it. Hmm. I think you need to work on your rhymings. Nope, that's... <laughs> Ver and Lur do not really... Mm. No. Uh, yeah, Delver Hitler. Done. Delver Hitler. We solved yeah. it. We solved the issue, guys. Now, that's a that's an alter. Oh, pay up. Patrick Warburton. Warburton. Burton. Warburton? Burton. Burton. Burton Cheney. Burton Cheney? That guy got banned. <laughs> uh. Four years. <laughs> yeah. Again, like twice. Yeah. I don't know why he just doesn't have like a perma ban. I don't know. Do um, we wanna? Do you wanna go see if? Uh, I'll go. I'll go see if they're moving over. Yeah, go see if they're moving over, and then uh, go see if. Uh, uh, worst case, we just get old standard. Yep. Like if they're not moving over because there's like one other match going on. Yeah. I think. <laughs> oh, I think Chuck just died. I heard yelling happen. Oh, ah, this is kind of a cool do. How do you guys like the do? How do? Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's beautiful. I like it. Ah, uh, it's good things. Uh, Burton Cheaty, yes. Uh, Delver's a vegetarian? Is he? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to put that out there. So, guys, um, again, I don't know. It's been enough time. Uh, probably not. But either way, we got... Uh, don't forget, we got a giveaway coming up. Got a giveaway coming up probably going to be after the last stream. I'm going to work on my auctioneer skills. Uh, it's going to be four... Uh, it's going to be a full play set of uh, some Japanese baleful strixes. They're going to be good. I'll mail them to you. You'll like them. You'll probably play them. If you play Desert, you're really going to like them. It's going to be a good thing. Uh, and that's courtesy of MTG Card Market. So, guys, please go to their Facebook page, like them, and let them know that uh, you watch the stream, that you like it, and uh, good right. things will happen. They're still on game two. Uh, They're still on game two. How? There was a Merit Liege token, a Primeval Titan. Uh, a scavenger dude is now. Scavenger. Uh, what, happened to the, what happened to the Knight of the Reliquary? Uh, it's still on the opponent's side. These are things that I need to know. Yeah, um, 
the thing that's keeping uh, Andrew alive is right. a glacial cat's eye. Okay. So he can't take damage. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right, so maybe we will get a game three. I have no idea. Yep. Does the do come with the cards? Maybe. Ooh, I'll, I'll shave my head for it. Oh, wait, I can't actually tilt down because then it looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> if I, I mean, it could be worse. This, this side. My hair is the shaggiest thing in the there world right now. There you go. Uh, yeah. I'll shave my head for send it away. If somebody, uh, I got no problems. I don't know. If somebody was like, you know what? I'll donate a billion dollars to the stream. A billion dollars? Yeah, I'd shave my head. I'd shave my head for a billion dollars. <laughs> no, if somebody was, I don't know. What card from Favorite Forest do you think most likely to work into any legacy list? Monastery Mentor. Yeah, Monastery Mentor is probably going to be the biggest a one. Fringe, possible temporal, ma whatever it is. No. The, very, very fringe. The time walk one? Yeah. No. I don't think it actually will, but like, I guarantee people will try to test it. It's not good. Triple blue is too much. So who who in chat? Who's going to? Uh, how do you? Uh, so what? I Asian. Uh, you or, follow us. Oni Yasin. Uh, yeah, Oni Yasin's been here before. Yeah. Uh, they. Uh, uh, yeah. So no, we haven't we haven't started the raffle yet, guys. So we're gonna start it. I I might do a jig. We'll see. And then when I get tired, the raffle will be done, and uh, and then on uh, then we'll draw a name. And it's gonna be good. Yeah. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Be great. It's gonna be great, Chuck. How great's it gonna be? It's gonna be pretty great. It's gonna be. <laughs> uh, oh, the other one. Um, we have to kill so, this is, the, we've had the, to kill so much time. This this, this the event. one this white uh, colorless manifest the top card of your library. Maybe that might actually see play because people are trying that with Frexian and Dreadnought. Is it? Oh, because it comes into yeah. play and then and you then, just flip and it. And you pay one to flip it. Ooh. Yeah. So maybe a resurgence stifle uh, Starburst? Scratchburst. No, that's that's scratch. It's German. Uh, all right. It's German, you see? German Starburst. Scratchburst. German Starburst. Thanks for joining. <laughs> <laughs> Not scratchburst. <laughs> uh, it's good. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't think the... I don't think the uh, manifesting Dreadnought and flipping it is good enough anymore. Uh, I mean, just what do you put in a blue-white shell? And then you still have Stifle, yeah. so you still have Stifle Knot. Yeah, I and mean, then I just don't think it's good enough. I don't know. I would um, I would almost try it with like, so you manifest, and then you're also running uh, Grindstone, and Painter Servant. I would like that. And then you yeah. have uh, uh, Enlightened Tutor to put them on top of your deck yeah. to set that up. I don't know. I'm liking this. Um, there's like the other, there's the other one that I was hearing of people wanting to Cloud Shift a Manifest Emrakul. Uh oh sure yeah just blink manifest and emerald I think I'd I think I'd rather restoration angel cloud shift is one mana instant is it yes <laughs> oh which oh I thought you're talking about that enchantment that's from uh... no you're thinking flicker form no it's in standard right now oh um uh, yeah fuck that <laughs> ban please mo wait what are we what am I banning what am I what am I banning I don't think we're easy I don't, I don't know. See anything. Uh, somebody pulled a foil bloodstain mire. Good That's job. Awesome. Uh, you really do sound like a, that voice actor. I mean, great. Somebody give yeah. me a fucking job then. I mean, not that I don't like my job currently, but I would much rather just voice Get act because that'd be great. I oh, by the way, they're playing old standard in the background. Oh, are they? Yeah. All right, we'll take it. I off. told them to move over until they don't. Andrew, they don't need guys. to see our face. Yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah. There's, a, there's a wild mongrel. Yeah, wild I'm mongrel thinking. versus bottle. I'm stuff. just gonna keep yeah. ranting. Um, um, but you said it. It was twice. I don't know what's happening. Uh, Blake, please, I never want to know. Stifle not already made a resurgence. I don't know. I haven't. Yeah, I, uh, nobody around maybe. Army does play it yet. Uh, and then Temple Trispad. Not. Yeah, I don't think any. It's gonna see anything out of EDH. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, because, like... It's and a even, triple blue. If even, it was double blue, it, it would do it. Sure. And then, like, somebody's even bringing it up in modern. Like, I, there's so many other things. There's so many yeah. better things in, like, tur extra turns in modern. Um, going right on extra, extra turns, turns is... Back. Yeah, and that's and then uh, savor the moment. Yeah. I mean, savor the moment is just strictly better than that. Mm, the untapped's kind of important. Not really, because in those decks, you're, untapped, you're, the, in those decks you're playing Planeswalkers. Planes yeah. yeah, and that's and that's the primary purpose for taking extra turns, is to abuse Planeswalkers. Yeah. So, I mean, like, that, it's not going to be whatever. Um, so, uh, is the stream seats. super laggy for anybody else? Uh, it should, we, we finally stabilize. Yeah. Uh, you can, 
I can give you a job on my block, Mark. Uh, you can plant tulips everywhere. Well, that'd be great. I'd love planting tulips. Uh, good rant time. Flawless Seth Rogen. I have no idea what's <laughs> happening yet. Gibbonson, <laughs> it's not raffle time yet. Uh, raffle we'll time see. soon. I don't even know if Temple Trespass will see play in standard. Maybe. Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe if there's a resurgence in mono blue devotion. Who's Rocco? Uh, so is this. All right. Uh. Yeah, so guys, let us. I know we've had. Because uh, apparently Comcast has been giving the finger to old uh, MGG card market all day. Um, and so we're bumming off of their internet. And so Comcast has given us problems here before. So I don't doubt that something might be happening. And we definitely have drop frames throughout the broadcast. Yeah. So. Rut row again. But different no. spelled. Is this. This is raw you. <laughs> raw you. Raw <laughs> you. There we go. Everybody's German today. You know, fuck okay. it. Uh, we got the, we got the, I've got the, I guess German in-laws? They're not, I guess they're not in-laws, but they're, I don't know, what do you call my wife's uncle? What would you, what would you call it? Uncle and aunt. Step, um. In-law brothers? Uncle-in-law. Uncle-in-law? Yeah. All right, know. we got the German, we got the German uncle and aunt-in-laws. Yeah. Uh, staying at her mom's. So, also known I don't know, as Germans no relation mind. to you whatsoever. <laughs> what now? Also known as no relation to you whatsoever. Yes. Yes. But, uh, rah, 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 yeah. All right, I like it. Uh, I wish they had the second Stream is super laggy. Holy crap. Well, that's not good. What's happening? I'm not seeing yeah. the frames dropping anymore. I mean, we're bouncing a little bit. I mean, we're, see I'm b we're bouncing signal, but I'm yeah. not seeing the frames actually dropping. It might be on your end. You might want to try refreshing. I don't know. I don't know. I apologize, guys. It's blame Comcast. Harass them. Oh, do you think Bloodblade Elf is going to get unbanned? Uh, maybe. I, I felt when they banned it, it was a very good decision because yeah. it, it made the format very stale. But the format has diversified enough, and blue cards are good enough now, again, in that format, that Bloodblade Elf could probably come back. I mean, I don't know. I'm a big fan of make commander decks legal in, in that format please in, in modern oh all right my god and then in or like just like special sets make them legal in modern and at that point which they already have a precedence for for modern masters yeah kind of sort of um and then introduce days and brainstorm and then or excuse me days and force of will probably yeah. not brainstorm whatever and then remove the ban list and then just say hey look we have a slightly more accessible legacy let's have fun that's 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 my that's yeah. that is what I would love to see modern become. It's because that way they can introduce cards into modern without having to have them run through standard or do stupid fucking limited pr print run like yeah. modern masters bullshit. Um, that's just me. Have you turned turn it off and turn it back on again? Uh, yes. Yeah. We we tried that when we got here. Now we're dropping frames so people can complain. Yeah. Uh, did you unplug it? Um, I honestly, but as far as like them unbanning things, I don't know if they will unban anything. I've they're gonna unban anything. It's probably gonna be Blood Rail. Yeah. Um, or ancestral vision. Yeah. Uh, because Treasure Cruise is basically the same thing, but better now. Um, yeah, I mean Treasure Cruise is insane. Treasure yeah. Cruise, I would not be surprised if they banned it. <sighs> like I can see the arguments for and against. Yeah. But based on their past, where they just they're like. Ah, fuck it, this deck's a little too good. It's not yeah. really dominating the meta, but it's pretty good. Then they just ban it. But then again, you look at decks like Pod that have been like just consistently good always in the history of modern. I mean, it's then like, and they never bought, they never banned to Pod. So then, I feel like you Pod can see is by far the most consistent deck yeah. in the format for a long time now. Everybody's saying flawless Seth Rogen. I don't even know. I don't even. I, I don't... Speaking of Seth Rogen, my, did you see the interview? Yes. I thought it was terrible. Uh, that movie was awful. It had a few good lines. I did not laugh once during it. It had a, it had a few good lines. Past that, though... Um, it, it did... It, no. it, it gets props for a sweet Katy Perry reference, but that's about it. Okay. I mean, yeah. There were several Katy Perry references. Yeah. Uh, I don't right. know. I don't know. Picking up too many... Picking up all these damn sleeves. I can toss those. No. These are mine. <laughs> Urban Flash. Ugh. All Urban. Oh, Urban Unbanned Flash. No, no they're I'll, never going to unban Flash. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll Urban Flash you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, unban Unbannings. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, honestly, I think the interview is 
probably one of their weakest movies as like that yeah. group of doing movies. Um, but like I, I'll give it like there were a few there there were a few good lines and then that's about it. The movie in general, I was just like whatever. Uh, got a few friends that are uh, insistent. Oh wow, we're God damn you! Com- See, Comcast heard that I said something bad about them. And they were like, you know what? Um, Let's fuck friends. with them again. Let's fuck them. Yes. <laughs> so Sony so did honey dick us into watching the movie. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's that's uh, it's a hundred percent what it's happened. It's not honey dick. It's honey potty. No, it's honey dicking. No, it's honey potty. Do you not remember the movie? It's at honey all? potty. No, that's a whole honey dick thing. That was the entire running gag. Is because they start out with a honey pot, and then uh, fucking what's his name, uh, I, Green Goblin, uh, or Hobgoblin, excuse me. Hobgoblin's like he honey dicked me because it's a guy, the guy to guy thing. Yeah. And since the CEO of Sony is a guy, we'll say honey dicking. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Chuck didn't watch the movie. I did watch the movie. It wasn't good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, what so the so fuck does honey dick mean? Uh, so, <laughs> honey dicking is just the male version of honey pot. So, whereas honey pot is uh, a female uh, dr- luring a luring a guy into uh, doing something by under, being good looking and whatnot. Under some would say false, false pretenses. Yes, um, it's uh, honey dicking is just the same thing with the dude yeah. that they came up with in that movie. Technically, it would still be honey potting. Yeah. But honey dicking is just way I've, more hilarious. I actually forgot that they transitioned to saying honey dicking. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I love. See, this is why I love chat. Chat's always good. Thank you, chat. Thank you for everybody being in here. It's actually, I do like that they embedded honey dicking because it's important to be an equal opportunist. Yes. Like, yes. you shouldn't ex- include an entire group of people from there. I agree. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Scarred for life. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's good. Uh, what the hell are they playing? They are playing old standard. So yeah. standard circa 2003 uh, while we're waiting for the, uh, final round to- for the final round to to fire. And then after that, the, the giveaway. Um, so that's that's what's currently happening. Uh, I think we're waiting on the Nick Fit Lands matchup. My guess is they went to game three and saw that they were playing old standard, which is fine because they probably weren't going to finish anyway. Well, these so, are Andrew's decks, so <laughs> yeah, he was well aware that this was happening. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They probably looked over, saw people sitting, and they didn't want to mess no, with No, I told them that they were moving so, over and to just shoot them out of the way if they finished. Oh, my goodness. All right. <laughs> Ruh-ruh. Well, all right. So no, Orzov started it. So all right. So if we're gonna if we're gonna be doing this stuff, all right. So you get a timeout. You get a timeout. How long is our timeout? Period? I have no idea. All right, well, six hundred seconds. So ten minutes. Yep. All right. So it looks like they. Uh, I don't know. They actually might have been friends because they're yeah. <laughs> talking about. Uh, they were talking with, with their names, so now I feel a little bad if they actually were friends. Either way, though, uh, I gotta hear the rules that I arbitrarily created for chat. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> arbitrary rules it. are best rules. Yes. I also completely forgot what I was gonna look up. So let's talk so, tiny leaders. Oh god, Chuck will talk tiny leaders. That uh, format just, is awesome. Shit, we're down. I we're think. Down? Uh, no, we're back up. All right. We just dropped a fuck ton of frames there. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, guys. Tiny leaders is a. Whoa, sh- what oh. the fuck? Ah, oh, jeez. All right. All right. All but right. yeah. How are we doing? I don't even know. Looks uh, like you're stilling a little bit. Yeah. So. Tiny Leaders, really cool format. Um, I read about it uh, from uh, our Facebook group for Magic in the area. Oh, I think I hear them going. Well, maybe not. I thought I heard. I thought I heard noise. Um, so I'm gonna go. And then uh, looked at the rules. Rules seem kind of fun. So I uh, I talked some people into making some decks, and it kind of uh, it kind of exploded in our area. Um, we had a lot of different archetypes. Mill is not just broken. Uh, burns really good as well. Um, oh, Tiny Leaders is a commander variant where uh, it has a different ban list and 
everything in your deck has to have a CMC of three or less, including your commander and every card in your deck. Um, uh, split cards work just fine as long as both halves are e each under uh, 30, uh, 3 CMC, 50 life, uh, 50 cards, 25 life. Uh, Army Vet, uh, 1294, thanks for following. Um, certain notable cards are banned, like Edric and Sword of Body and Mind, and all the usual things that are banned in, like, French Commander. So, like, Soul Ring, uh, uh, Mana Vault, uh, Mana Crypt, all that stuff. Soul of, Bo Soul of Body and Mind, 25 life. Uh, no Commander damage. Um, and it's just got, like, really cool, sweet synergies to build. Um, for example, uh... All the artifact tutor effects are legal, like Tinker and Transmute Artifact and Fabricates and, uh... Shit. Do you know what Dominic's last name is? Uh, Dorier. I don't know how to spell that. But anyway, so we got we got some... Just put Dominic D. We got some, uh... For right. the D is Dominic. Actually, it should be on here. Yeah. Dominic, right? Yeah. And then, uh, because he played yesterday... There we yep. go. Uh, Counterbalance is banned as, as well, uh, but not Chalice of the Void. E R R. Uh, Soul Ring is definitely banned. Crimson, totally, totally banned. So is Painter Servant, uh, which is makes me sad. It makes sense why they made why they banned Painter Servant and not Grindstone for that format because there's a whole bunch of things that would be absolutely bonkers if uh, if Painter Servant was legal. Uh, Nick Fit. And then right player. Oh wait, no, that's what his name. Yeah. Uh, uh, I highly encourage you guys uh, check out the format. It's um, yes, the commanders are legendary still, um, and every single co uh, color combination now has a commander besides Bug. Uh, Bug was the only one who didn't get one in Concept Arc here uh, because they decided to give that guy uh, no. Yes, the Power Nine are banned. Oh, Power Nine are banned? Yes, very much so. Mm. So is Soul Ring, Mana Crypt, Mana Vault, Demonic Tutor, all that stuff. Uh, try going, just Google uh, Tiny Leaders uh, MTG, and you'll find the blog spot for them, and all the rules are on their website, and they have a really active Reddit community. Uh, Geist does not win the entire uh, format. He's won the, He's a top-tier deck, but there's a lot of ways to beat him, like Diabolic Edict. Yes. Uh, I was going to try to get goblins on, but uh, goblins uh, was uh, oh, oh, 03. Yeah. Oh, 03. Um, and I was like, I'm not. And then he was playing against Andrew. We already saw Andrew on yep. camera, and I was like, Nathan, uh, we're not going to subject you. Time Vault is banned because it's Power 9, technically. Uh, yep. And then. But Thought for Short is fine. Army Vet, thank you for following. Got and, that one. Oh, god damn it. Matt Skittles, well, thank Matt, you for following. Matt Skittles, I didn't get, but he's got some. Sh Matt god Skittles. damn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and so now we got Bug Double versus Nick Fit. I'm not quite sure who wins this, so we might actually see like a little bit back and forth, a little bit longer match than the. We've had almost. We've, we've had, had mostly combo. Basically combo. Yeah. What What was round one? Dredge versus what? Dredge versus Painter. Yeah, so we've had all combo until now. Basically, Dredge is a combo deck. Yeah, I mean, yes. Lands is, you could argue, is a good, like it's a lock combo, more or less. Yeah. Uh. So now we're now we're doing things that aren't uh, aren't as combo. I know Dominic's got a few combos in there. Uh, Pots uh, port not port uh, counterbalance is is very strong in that format. Uh, but uh, countertop or uh, since it's vine top is just dirtily. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, toss this out, guys, while they're still shuffling. Uh, if you guys like what you see, uh, YouTube, we post all the videos to YouTube. They're generally up within a couple days. Um, also, I would uh, suggest definitely check out our YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, and then also check out our Facebook page. We post a lot of deck lists there. Um, past that, uh, like us on that. Um, I say funny things on Twitter every once in a while. So uh, check us out there as well. Uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna stop stop doing the plugs and throw a uh, little putting a little put a little out there. So Dominic, this is interesting. Dominic's actually playing for the win, so he's gonna have to play a little bit more on the like. Dominic can actually prime money here. Yeah. Uh, Ned is more than likely out unless some breakers go crazy. Um, 
but uh, but yeah, so it's it's kind of interesting, and, and it's also nice because we haven't had either one of these guys on camera yeah. yet. Um, I'm literally I'm just gonna go find Comcast and like and punch them. Yes, <laughs> so everybody I'm works punch Comcast. Comcast. Do you know what you have to do if you have to? Uh, I believe library is banned, but Bizarre Bag there is not. Really? Yeah, Bizarre Bag Bag not banned in Tiny Leaders. Can you? Like, is there like a good enough dredge deck that you can play? There's a decent amount of dredge cards, but none of them are particularly like. What are you doing with it? I don't know. That's the problem. Like all the good things to do to be doing with dredge are over CMC three. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't know. Um. Yeah, just go check your list, the list yourself. It's really easy to find. Just Google uh, Tiny Beauty Leaders MTG, and the band list is on that website. Um, uh, Dominic, uh, if he gets a good start... <laughs> I like that. I like, I like the username. I has your materia. <laughs> Thank you for following. Several, let's get out of this stream. <laughs> uh, if, if Dominic has a good start with like a better explorer and took a ball therapy, this could be very bad for Ned. Uh, cause he gets way up on lands real fast. Yeah, Ned's, I, Ned is not Mr. Zinni. Zinni will get his, will get greedy as fuck with his lands and yeah, will never plays basics. Happily, no, Zinni plays basics. He does? Yeah, oh, yeah that's yeah, why yeah, he's yeah. super oh, greedy. Uh, yeah, he definitely plays see, basics. So. I see his, I see you running as many basics as you can as being conservative. <laughs> Jeez. All right, guys. Well, it's good to know that at least the recorded stream will not have this many frames dropped. Yeah. This is re absolutely ridiculous. I don't know. I'm a little upset that the internet's being this shitty. Um, anyway, so we saw a uh, Dominic trying to play top there. Um, it's going to get dazed by Ned, uh, and then Ned's just going to play a fetch land, pass the turn back. I don't think I agree with his use of playing a fetch land there. Um, unless he literally has nothing to do on this next turn. Like, you don't want to give him the information of having the extra land, and you want to save that fetch potentially for a brainstorm. Okay, yep. I, I, I agree with you on all of those points. Yeah. So. So, he's, maybe he's just got a ha land heavy hand and wants to uh, thin a bit. That's fair. Uh, hashtag unbanned skull clamp. Hashtag legacy 2015. Skull clamp also. Get there. Also banned in tiny leaders. <laughs> <laughs> Rightfully so. No, that card would be no, I like in it. that format. I like it. There's so many two ones. <laughs> um, so there's a green sun zenith, and we're going to see a Ned fetch. Ned's going to go down to. 18. Uh, 18? Did yeah, he fetch twice? Oh, all right. Missed yeah. the first fetch. Um, he's going to go down to 18, uh, and we're going to see a spell pierce. And that's going to get rid of that. Uh, uh, green Sun Zenith. That's not going to do much. Fair enough. Uh, Ned did not ponder. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. He pondered turn one. Yeah. So oh, no, yeah, 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 sure. yeah. Be You're a crazy bastard. Chuck. This is what I get for listening it's a to washed Chuck. Out. I can't see what this is what I get for listening to Chuck. It's yeah. kind of. Yeah, it's a little washed out. I'm trying to get. I have to, I'll have to mess with the levels. Yeah. Um, moving forward. There are a lot of three mana board whites, just not really in white. It's mostly black. Black dominates the board control in that format. Uh, I want. I still want to make a Glissa deck. Glissa is really good in that format. Yeah, because like, and then you get all the artifact yeah. sweepers. So you get like, you get Powder Keg, you get Ratchet Bomb, you get EE. Uh, you get Deed. Uh, Pernicious. Oh, you do yeah. get Deed. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I like it. I like it. If I'm gonna do it, this. All right. So Ned. Black Sun. Wow. Sand. So Ned has just had every answer. He plays the Tarmogoyf, and then he's going to force a will the second Green Sun Zenith from Dominic, um, which is pretty Nick Finn being down two uh, Green Sun Zeniths is really, really rough. Yeah. Oh, 100%. 100%. And now, and, what, Sorcery, Artifact, Land, Instance? Well, if you can see from the yeah. almost like professionally done Tarmogoyf guy. I want to make sure they had it on the right side. Yeah, I mean, this is... This, I'm pretty sure this is like... If you were like, hey, you know what? I want like to buy a five hundred dollar Tomergoyf die. That's the one you buy. <laughs> that is the one you buy. Yeah, you could also run in the sideboard, perish and Oof. Uh, and Oof. Uh, gloom. No, no, uh, nature's ruin. Oh, well, well they were they were saying yeah. gloom. Yeah, which is that's the destroy all. It's not gloom. White it's, um, creatures. I don't know. There's a lot of good stuff. I forgot the name of it. It's yeah, it's in right. from the vault twenty. Not twenty. Annihilation. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Same thing. Uh, there's a Cabal Therapy. I don't know what you name here. Or if, you, you if you're if you Ned. Right? Well, if you're Ned, do you just brainstorm off? Yeah, so he did name brainstorm. All right, that's fine. Uh, I think you played that's, the brainstorm. That's uh, 
fine though, right? So we got yeah. artifact land instant sorcery. Yeah. So is there no creature in the area? No, there's I guess no creature not. in the area. Yep. There hasn't been any creatures played besides uh, uh, Tarma Wave. Yeah. So Ned's first use ruin. Yep. Thank you. Okay. And uh, Ned's uh, Ned's going to go ahead and play that land that Dominic already knew about, which is fine. Um, Honestly, I did not see this matchup going so much like this. But then again, Ned just had all the counters, um, which I believe... God, what article was I reading? And they were like, the statistical Delver loss, because that's just what it is. Uh, stream has been dropping for a bunch of people. Yeah. Oh, jeez. It seems to be leveling out some, but Comcast has been having some real problems streaming today, or uh, providing the internet for us today. Um, yeah. Dominic abrupt decaying the uh, uh, Tarmogoyf, and then that's going to follow up by playing a Delver in a second main. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, God, yeah, this is miserable. Yeah. This see, this is this is what's terrible because like then this makes me seem unprofessional, which yeah. I hate, despise that. Uh, anyway, though. Oh, and there's that there's, there's that, a, there's that little about. little uh, pernicious deed. So did he get us? Did do we get a swing in, or was it an abrupt decay before the swing? I'm or, not sure. I I would assume Dominic would not want to take. The, you're supposed to watch before. while I'm doing stuff. There's no way to convey that. Uh, anyway, uh, going to ten life. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Managaro uh, making a good point that even. Uh, Even Comcast hates Delver. Delver. Yeah. I don't particularly agree with playing the death rate after playing Deed. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, Rohu, I, I figured that, but, like, then, uh, yeah. Uh, like, I don't know. Just after the, uh, like, the earlier shit and yeah. stuff, I was, that's why I just timed you guys out, especially since uh, Orsa Kapalapa stuff was... said, like, Ethan. So I figured you guys knew each other, but I was like, well, I should probably actually go and enforce the rules that I... Again, arbitrarily the, made for the channel. The don't be a dick rule. Yeah, because we're we're I'm still petitioning. I've been going back and forth to Twitch about petitioning to become partnered right. and whatnot. So I need to actually like fill it out. And then Professor, uh, thirteen people, I think fourteen, twelve. Was it twelve? I don't know. Yeah, you know, then I have all the deck lists here. Count it up. One, two. Three, four, uh, five, deed five, is seven, extra eight, less. Nine, ten, deed is twelve. We'll, we'll, we'll bring yeah, it up. there's twelve of them. Uh, pernicious Deed uh, is a one blue, a black green enchantment that pay X and destroy each uh, artifact creature and enchantment. Yep. Uh, with converted mana cost X or less. So it's 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 big balls. Yeah, big it's, balls. It's uh, very very good. He can pop Deed for zero to kill the flip Delver. The reason I didn't like him playing the Death Rite after playing the Deed was because if he needs to pop it on one. Uh, he loses his own death rights. And how do you feel about the Liliana? So Liliana's going to tick up, forcing him to discard his last yeah. card. Um, and now Dominic's not sitting up much, and if he pops the Deed, then, like, he's missing the only thing that he can do. Deed, like, Deed doesn't even kill um, Liliana, which is rough. Uh, it's not a matter for... I'm not trying to show these things. This is Gatherer. So if yeah. you have a problem with the images... It's whatever default yeah. that happens to gather, and it's yell, really hard to change yell, the... Yell at Gatherer. Yell at Gatherer. I, I agree that it should always be the original printing. I, I do, too. I, yeah. I completely agree, but I understand why they're not doing that, because for newer players, yeah, uh, newer players aren't going to understand what's going on with the older borders and whatnot. Where, so, like, I understand why they're not doing that, but I agree. Um, uh, all right, Dominic, just... Top deck to a Thrag Tusk. No, no that's a no, Primeval Titan. Titan. I so meant to say Primeval Titan. We'll bring, we'll bring yeah. that bad boy up. Uh, that's the Grand Prix promo. Um, uh, he tends to like to face his cards towards his opponents to make sure that they can understand what his cards do. Alright, so uh, there's Primeval Titan. So I, I do it as a courtesy to new players. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ned, not a new player, though. No. Uh, and the fact that he cast Primeval Titan, he's going to go fetch up Thespian Stage and Dark Depths. Uh, probably. This game's probably gonna, over yeah. relatively soon. Um, <laughs> this is... I assume, I think Ned runs Wastelands, so this might not be over immediately. Um, yeah. yeah uh, Primeval Titan, King of Standard, 
in the two years that it was uh, legal. Uh, or three Wait, years it was legal. What happened? I zoned out. Primal Titan. King of Standard. Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, looks like <laughs> Ned is scooping things up. Yeah, that's... Where did Dominic go? Uh... Was Dominic just... <laughs> <laughs> Poof! <laughs> was he, yeah, was Dominic he just, just raptured? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, re- I really wish he left like his sweater on the chair, too. <laughs> so I was like, ah. Uh. Uh, all right. Ice cauldron? Ice cauldron? No, we're not putting... Like, <laughs> we're not going to put the article for ice cauldron on. Yeah, you wouldn't even be you able to even, read it. You, you don't. It's too small. Nah, yeah. Uh, all right, so Dominic's going to get that game one. Um, yes, very much Which, so. honestly, I thought, I mean, that's kind of how, uh, that was a pretty sweet top deck from Dominic. I mean, Ned did yeah. everything he could uh, in Except order to. Except apply enough pressure. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. Chase is easy. Chase actually does what the card says. Yeah, but it's still a block of text. Oh, it's, it's a block of text. Even the Oracle text is a block of text. But yeah. at, least, at least the card actually does what it says. Yeah, yeah. Uh, instead of drawing some cards, you discard some cards. If you can't, uh, if you can't discard, you mill some cards. Yep. yep. That's, I have one of those. That's that's about uh, for you. Run your cube. Yep. No. Not actually great the cube. <laughs> we got a cube some more. Are you yeah. Going, you're, you're not. Are you going to Indy or no? Can't get time off. Uh, all right. It hey. It didn't have a ride. Chat in between rounds. Who's going to Indy? Indy. Double. Raise your hands. Who wants to see me? Double legacy the, IQ. Uh, not IQ. Uh, open. Yeah. Super excited. I'm going to have some shirts. Uh, we could talk. We'll be good. Yep. Uh, so the the nifty thing about chains uh, is that it's a uh, replacement effect. Uh, so it's oh, not it? a triggered ability. So brainstorm is discard a card, draw a card, discard a card, draw a card, discard a card, draw a card, and then put two on top of your library. <laughs> yeah. Good. So I it, like it. It's always a net zero for drawing extra cards. <laughs> and you can't stifle it. And, and you can't stifle it. And... Uh, I remember when I was playing Grixis, I wanted to board out brainstorms and um, and ponders and put in uh, chains and dark confidants. So I still have a draw engine that didn't get changed, and then deck faded in my opponents uh, while so, I have chains in play. <laughs> yeah, that was just fine. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't very good. <laughs> so, oh yeah, the flow for chains is pretty hilarious. Yeah, the flow chart for chains is. Pretty good. I still don't think it's needed. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Ra- oh, or Ra- Rahu, Rahu, excuse me, uh, because that's how I'm pronouncing it. Um, what, do you know what Ice Cauldron does? Like, I know it's got some yeah. things. and No, we're not bringing it up. This is from memory. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't remember exactly what it does. I can read the card and then tell you, attempt to tell you what it does. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Uh, uh, Suzhou, Suzho, yeah, you can you come meet the voice actor guy. That's... Uh, that, that would be me. Be good. Yeah. I like it. Oh, yeah. This I'll one. talk. Yeah, yeah, no. It's got something to do with counters and I don't know. All fucking right. So shit, the card says yeah. it's a four mana artifact. Yeah. X tap it. Put a charge counter on Ice Cauldron and put a spell card face up on Ice Cauldron. <laughs> Note the amount, uh, the type and amount of mana used to pay for the activation cost. Use the ability only if there are no charge counters on Ice Cauldron. Uh, you may pay that. Play that spell as though it were in your hand. Tap it. Remove charge counter from Ice Cauldron and add mana to the, of the type and amount last used to put a charge counter on Ice Cauldron. Do your mana pool. This mana, mana ability can only be used to cast spells exiled with, uh, or on top of Ice Cauldron. Yeah, so it's like a weird Isochron Scepter. It is a way to exile a spell and pay for it later. Later, yeah. Well... Pay and for it and now ramp to for cast it, it a little bit. Yeah. You don't have to pay for the entire thing, though, right? No, no. You can pay yeah. for some of it and then yeah. uh, not have in your hand to be... Uh, yeah, so it's it's like a weird Isochron Scepter. Because yeah. after you... Okay, yeah, because oh, after way. you cast it, you cast it. Yeah. Speaking of limited, uh, Titan Leaders All-Stars, Isochron Scepter. With Boomerang, super good. Uh, Richard and Port, I will 100% sign a shirt with Mustard, because why the fuck not? Um, anyway, it looks like the match is starting. Uh, Ned going to lead out with an uh, Underground C. And, and a uh, playing a... Uh, Death Ray Shaman. Death Ray Shaman. There we Probably go. Probably his great. best turn one play. Uh, Dominic's going to follow it up with a uh, I would argue. Fonsies. I would argue Delver's probably better. In this matchup? 
Uh, all right, not in this one. Uh, yeah. uh, I don't know. Applying the pressure fast enough, that's fine. Um, so we are going to see a thought seize come down from Dominic. That's going to put I, him down to 17 after that fetch. He's I got to think that he's going to take this him to Turok. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. That or the Ponder, I think you can make. Or depending on his hand, he might even take the Spell Pierce. Like, there's worlds where I can see him taking the Spell Pierce, but I agree that him is probably... Because him's coming down next turn. Yeah, him's coming down next. Uh, is it? Yes. Yeah, because, because, there's a fetch in the yeah because there's a fetch in the graveyard. But so. Ned does not have a second land, and that's rough. Yeah, so I think that's he that's why I think you, yeah, that's why yeah. I think you take the you. That's why I don't like. That's why I don't hate taking the ponder. Look, yeah. Dracula's face on the ponder. I can't believe people never noticed the face. Like that was the <laughs> first thing that I noticed about it. No, like I didn't notice for literally yeah. years. <laughs> uh, oh man. So. Uh, the DNA fanatic. It's because it's it's a way to hold on to a card for later. For later. Yeah, and it gets yeah. a card out of your hand. So if you have other things that like can't be thought seized at that point. Yeah, so, uh, it pr basically yeah. protects the spell. Um, he, I mean, it's not a he terrible card. The he took the him. Okay, yeah. that's fine. I think Ned's probably happy with that because now he just now he just now that open that frees up ponder, um, so you can ponder without any sort of issues and. He's good to go. All right, Mark. Yeah. What? Play play dirty water again. Put uh. Put what? uh. What am I putting in there? Uh, basalt monolith, the power artifacts, and a wake thresher. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just get just, your opponents. Okay. All right. Hey. <laughs> just be like, turn two basalt monolith. <laughs> turn three wake <laughs> thresher. <laughs> All right. Go. I like it. Turn four, power artifacts, kill you. All right. We'll bring up wake thresher so people know what the hell is going on. <laughs> Uh, I think you're to bring up power back first. <laughs> nah. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Do you even need power artifact? Uh, no, actually, no. You just yeah, need salt you just need yeah, salt just, just run wake thresher with the salt water. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so, all right. So we see a wasteland from Ned. It's gonna take After out. He, he got off a ponder. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, no, no. He draw. He drew. Yeah. He drew wasteland for the turn. Wasteland uh, the Bayou of Dominix, and then pondered. Um, and, and then the exiling bayou. the bayou in order to play another death right shaman. So this is not bad. No. Uh, the, Dominic, this is completely fine. Dominic drew a uh, veteran explorer for the turn. Which is going to help him a lot. Which is going to help him a lot. And Ned has no exile effects, so the only way yes. to get this thing off the board is to kill it. But Dominic's going to lead off with the Maelstrom Pulse. Not the Maelstrom Pulse. The, uh, the Cabal Therapy. Cabal Therapy first. Yeah. I Which is going to be pretty big. Is going to take the Spell Pierce. Yeah. Um, but this is fine. He can't... Well, I guess because sacking is part of the cost. So at yep. this point, Dominic's not... I mean, at this point, Ned's got really no recourse. Um, other than maybe stifling the trigger. Yeah. Uh, I, I think he's just trying it. to clear the way for a future, future Green Sun Death or something. Oh, my God. Fine. We'll pull up Ice Cauldron. Ice Cauldron. <laughs> There you go. There, Enjoy. You can't even read you it. Can't you read can't it. read it. Just go to Oracle and look it up. The Oracle text actually says what it does. It doesn't help. <laughs> uh, Leylines is a fun deck. If I could play Leylines. So Ned is exiling the uh, Cabal. Oh, all right. No, yeah. You can just yeah. you can just do that because that's an actual better play. <laughs> uh, um, all right, and that's gonna put Dominic down to fourteen. Yep. And now Ned still has a land up I, and I, a Deathrite Shaman. I think if I was Dominic, I would live with the Veteran Explorer. Yeah, I would have too, yeah. because then you do it both in the same turn. So, um, so could I be removed from the tournament if I play with that type of deck? Uh, face cards with banding? No, you can't be removed from the tournament. You just should know how they work exclusively. exclusively yes, <laughs> because <laughs> nobody else will. Uh, and and make sure you have like an updated. Document for the judges. <laughs> yes. So some of the judges don't know how those work either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And, uh, yeah. All right. And we'll bring up uh, Basalt Monolith. Yeah. Actually, no, we'll bring up Veteran Explorer because that's what we've been talking yeah, about. Veteran we Explorer, had it up earlier. Two um, of them are being played right now. It's a one mana, one one human cleric. I think it's a cleric. Um, is it a cleric? I think it's a cleric. We'll see. Soldier, Soldier yeah, Scout. I, was like, I didn't think it was a... Soldier Scout? It's like, three was... creature types. Good for you, better explorer. Uh, that when he dies, you uh, can go get two... Uh, each player goes and gets two basic lands and put them in the play. 
yeah. uh, untapped. So feasibly, if Dominic has a way to sack both of these this turn, uh, he can just get a primeval titan. <laughs> um, I'm really surprised we didn't see a fetch and then and then Ned eating something just to get that clock to go on. Yeah. Because there's enough stuff in the yard that it's going to put Ned down. Uh, jeez. <laughs> um, That's not the um, first time I've heard that insult. <laughs> My roommate says that sometimes. Oh, God. Uh, I agree. Snake Elf Druid. Uh, that's uh, Coiling Oracle. Yes, I like Snake Elf I love Coiling Oracle. Yeah. Uh, God bless. <laughs> All right. Um, I think... Dominic is going to be playing a uh, pernicious deed here. <laughs> oh no, Liliana. All right. I assume I'm going to make uh, Ned. Actually, I think it's worth taking up here. Uh, no, he's going to sack. All right, that's fine. So Ned's going to definitely do some stuff in response. Because if if you tick up here, uh, Ned has to get rid of uh, his entire hand essentially. Because he has to kill Liliana, and he yeah. has to, uh, uh... Yeah, I agree. I, I think that's that's perfectly yeah. fine. Uh, well, Jeffrey K., it's a Thursday. I expect you to be kind of late. Yeah. Uh, Mutaball's no longer an anteater. Did they remove anteater as a creature type? Oh, that's sad. Uh, but still a ninja turtle and a mutant. <laughs> I like Crimson Viper's play. Just yeah. play Ice Cauldron and then activate it. <laughs> <laughs> activate and you'll judge. I don't know what I just did. I like uh, it. There's been plenty of times where I've had people go, Judge, <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. All right, so Ned fetched, activated, uh, looks like getting rid of the Thoughtseize. Yeah. Um, so that's going to put Dominic to 11. to 11. And so if he had done this before, Dominic would be at 9 right now and yeah. then at a virtual 7. Um, and Ned and then still has five. These. Yeah, and Ned's at 19. See, so I really wish Ned would have fetched before. Ned still has this Maelstrom Pulse, too, which is super bad for Dominic. Not, well... Like, any relevant threat that Dominic can get right now get, dies to this Maelstrom Pulse. Sure, but Dominic's also got a fuck ton of discard. So yeah. we'll see how that actually happens. Um, and it looks like there was... Was there an attack for one? Yeah, I believe there was. So, uh... Uh, that's Ned's the nice thing about veteran explorers. 18. Nobody just, wants just to block swing. them. Just swing. Yeah. They're 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 a clock on themselves. Uh, Calcifer, uh, Jeffrey, there were no elves tonight, and then no. Calix, uh, Nick Fit is junk colored most of the time. Sometimes they splash some other stuff. I like the red splash. I think the best. Yeah. Uh, Instead of the white. Yeah. Yeah. You get some really cool cards. Well, I mean, there's there's that. it's generally always white in the deck. Yeah. Um. No. Uh, uh, Pino ran one, but that was just sure the green uh, green black. But I mean, yeah. like people, I mean, green black is like if you go back, like that's rock, that's like the rock deck yeah. where Nick Nick Fett really got its roots. Um, it was just a bigger rock deck, basically. I, um, I also like the bug version. The bug version has some really cool things going on. Yeah, so I mean, like yeah. there's there's many different versions, but basically they're all trying to do this. Many different herrings. Ooh, oh, that's a very good draw right uh, now. But, uh, so he can still, he can pop it for one right now if he uh, wants. But then the Sylvan Library's going to yeah. be. And let's, let's, I mean, he has to pop it for one. Because uh, he can't wait to untap for another turn because he knows he has a, his opponent has a deed. Not a deed, a uh, uh, Maelstrom Bulls. Oh, sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, Brofester, I would love a Tiny Leaders tournament. I think there's too many people who are trying to get the cards together. Uh, to make that happen. Yeah. Um, and so we do see that Ned, all right, so Ned confirming he has no basics in his deck. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so Dominic getting two triggers. He's going to get four basics here. going to get four basics. Could mm. drop a four drop. Yeah. Don't know what he could play that's actually relevant at this point. Um, but Sylvan Library could realistically get Ned. Oh, no, Ned's, back Ned's again. like really far ahead here because he has no play on this. Yeah, what's uh, what's Dominic's hand? Do we know? I have no idea, but if it's not something that he could have played for one. Yeah, so Ned's going to look course. at the top three. He's going to see a Delver and then a Fetchland. So I 
actually because like in, in a wasteland, the wasteland's not gonna do anything. Yeah. I almost if you're if you're Ned, like you know Dominic if Dominic's gonna kill you, Dominic's gonna kill you big time. Yeah. yeah so I'll, I'll I take don't, the four. Why did he take the waste? Uh, oh, okay, like, to break up the sure. Yeah. Okay, so he is gonna take four because he took an extra card there. Yeah. Um. So he's gonna go down to, to twelve. 12. Uh, and we're gonna see Delver come into play. Um, and then how does how does uh, Sylvan Library with a Delver trigger. How does that work? Uh, Delver happens first. Libraries are in the draw step. Delver happens first? It, because oh, oh yeah, 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 sure. Um, so if Dominic was playing two weeks from yeah. now, he could be he could drop an Ugin right now. He could drop an Ugin. No, no, he couldn't. He's one man short. Well, he, but he could when he had the best of stage. Okay, yes. 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 Uh, <laughs> and then... Uh, Dark Tusk. Uh, Dominic's at 14. Uh, there's... I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's that's something Pino's been working on is a scape shift. Oh, wait, uh, a, a, a pantsless stream? I don't yeah. know. That's what I'm saying <laughs> in chat. Pantsless stream is best stream, but uh, the the scape shift version of Nick Fit. Oh, I heard that. I heard yeah. he was trying to do that. Yep. It's super cool. All right, so yeah. All right, so Dominic's pointing out that the trigger doesn't happen. Uh, so Ned, I assume, is just going to assume that his Delver doesn't flip because he had a uh, Doctor <laughs> Foundry? Is that a Doctor Foundry? No, that's a land. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe yeah, it was the fetch lane. So there's Liliana f and Liliana Force fetch lane with the top three cards. Yeah, I agree with this. You just take the Liliana. I think you end up having to sack it. Uh, Thabula Dog, thank you for following. Uh, thank you for following. That OP dog? No, no, no. Thabula Dog. Thabula Dog. Uh, I, I prefer Thacko Dog. Um, so Liliana is going to take down. He's going to cost. Asked, tell Dominic to sacrifice a creature, um, and then Dominic's going to get a three-three uh, from the token from Thrag Tusk. Let's yep. get, let's get old Mister Swag Tusk on uh, on, Swag -tusk. on uh, uh, Thrag. That yeah. should be enough. Mister Swag Tusk, there he is. Comes into play, gain five life. Uh, honestly, though, you know what I rather would rather have seen in that spot? Um, see try now. No, see try now. See try now. See try now is pretty good. Yeah, I actually, one, I like one man a cheaper. Um, I like the rag tusk for this because it comes back with the body. Yeah. Particularly, sorry, particularly in this matchup. It sure. comes back with the body, and that's that's huge. Because, yeah. like, Ned's going to lose his Liliana here or Maybe. I don't, I don't know if he is, though. I think, uh, I think it looked like Dominic signaled at Ned. And if that's the case, then Liliana might take over the game. Because Ned untaps. I think that's a mistake if he doesn't kill Liliana. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I'm, all right, so I, I misunderstood the gesture. Yeah. Um, and he got a deed off the, uh, and looks like he's just going to pop it immediately and uh, pop it for two. Pop it for two? Yeah. Wow. Um, hopefully Ned put the fetch land back up. So, all right. So this is, uh, and now it becomes no, he puts the top. force. Ugh. That's rough. That's, yeah. That's, yeah, that's rough. a little rough. Um, this is the point where Bug Delver just really can't claw back. Uh, uh, Dominic just has so many resources. Sure, but it doesn't look like Dominic's doing a ton. So I mean, he just play. He draws top again. Plays top. It looks like Forest Thoughtseize and a Ewit. So that Ewit's yeah, gonna be really Ewit big. Is giant. Yeah. Uh, Can he Ewit and Thragtusk? No, no, he can't. No. He's close though. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, he's got another land on top, so he could. He just draws the land. Well, he did also draw the Ewit. Yeah, so he draws the Ewit, draws the land, and then does that. So. I mean, uh, what, is he, what is he bringing back? Yeah, I think yeah. the Thrag Tusk is he's, he's just easily. Yeah, yeah, it's the best card in the, in the. Oh, this is rough. Yeah. Swag Tusk is only two dollars now. Yeah, it dropped. Wow. Hard. Look up tanky look up, tank. Look up Angel of Serenity. Remember when that card was like over thirty? Vaguely. Oh, so this is so rough because Ned's got that force in hand, but not doing. Ugh. Yeah, I hated this. See, if I was Ned, I would have ordered, ordered assume. Wow, eighty-three cents. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but if I was Ned, I would have ordered my, the cards a little bit better to try to like maximize. Because, yeah, and it's because it's always uh, knowing from Dominic, he's running. Um, Abrupt uh, Decay yeah. and Deed. Like, Library is probably good as dead, no matter what, always. I'd rather have 
something I can shuffle away and get well, to see the look of the. He wasn't the expecting to lose both the library and the uh, and the Delver. Sure. So he was still setting up for the Delver to actually flip, which I understand uh, the goal there, but still, I think you've you seen one pernicious deed out of him. He's had a top in play. He's had a bunch of shuffle effects. Yeah. Like it's not out of the realm of possibility that he would have drawn a second one by now. Yeah. Ugh. All right. I think that's a swag tusk altar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like oh my god, I that's like amazing! Yeah. All right, hold on. I need to. I need to save that. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna save. We're gonna leave that up because I'm posting yeah. that to the Facebook. Second. The Facebooks and the Twitters. Yeah. And the oh, and good. the and the thingamajiggers. I wasn't expecting an animated GIF. <laughs> oh, that was that was great. Yeah. Did that have? Uh, okay, it does. It does have. Uh, it does have Snoop. Yeah, uh, good old Snoop. All right, good. All right, Dominic's fetching. Uh, now he could definitely cast Ugin if that card was legal. Yes, there you go. Uh, or at all available. Yeah. Down to eighteen. Down to eighteen, and we're up to one hundred and thirty viewers. We're be, we're we're only behind LSV and uh, and, and uh, Kenji. Shit. Sweet. I'll take it. So there's a force of will on the living wish that hard casted. Still going to take a life, though, because he's having a fetch. Yeah. Down to 11. And then going to get hit for 5. Yeah. 6, 7. Uh, so, that's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> so he's at, what, 4? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I wonder what Dominic would have gone with that Living Wish. I don't... I don't know. I mean, it, does, it doesn't matter. No, I don't, like... I think you just go get a creature out of your yeah. board. Like, I don't think you've messed with the Dark Ducks combo. Damn it, Mungar, no, LSV it, is not streaming. <laughs> not streaming. No. Bane Slayer, <laughs> Bane Slayer dropped, yes, <laughs> but it didn't drop under five. Actually, can we put Th Swag Tusk on the stream? Maybe. Hold on. Yeah, you totally can. You're moving well, in right now. I don't I th I don't think it's Swag Tusk. Good enough. Alright, good, good enough. enough. <laughs> I can't oh, wait, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Minus. I can do this. Control minus. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can plus one. Nope, nope, it's gotta go. It's gotta go minus one. All right, there we go. Damn, <laughs> done. We'll leave. Uh, we'll leave Mr. Swag up there for the rest of this game because Mr. I'm Mr. Pretty... Dominating Swag Tusk here. Yeah, I mean we're gonna see a ponder from Ned, but I don't think there's, there's really anything there he can do to get out of this. Um, yep, and yeah. there's the extension of the hand. So, like he would have to hit Goif and uh, a removal spell. Yep, and then not die to that. Uh, that Primal Titan that uh, yeah. was on top. Alright, and so guys, I think it's time to do that little giveaway. Woo! The uh, yeah. Japanese uh, playset of uh, Baleful Strixes, courtesy MGG Card Market. Again, if you guys like the, uh, if you like the giveaways, please go to their Facebook page, like them, and uh, let them know that you watch the stream, that you like the giveaways, and you want to see bigger and better giveaways. It's good things. Good things, everybody. Get it. Alright, uh, past that, uh, we're gonna start this. If you guys have never done the raffle before, it's while you explain this, I'm gonna go see if I can find this in a match. Okay, so you're gonna do exclamation mark and then raffle in lowercase. That's uh, that's how you're gonna <laughs> enter. Um, that's how you're gonna enter the uh, the raffle. Uh, and uh, I will ship anywhere and everywhere in the world. Uh, so far, I haven't found any place that's prohibitively expensive. If you do win and you're in a prohibitively expensive place, I will send it to you no matter what. You will guarantee to get it. Um, however, your countrymen, next time a raffle rolls around, might not be so lucky. Uh, but if you win, you will get your cards no matter what. Uh, Nefer Zephyr, thank you for following. Much appreciated. Uh, and then past that, you just have to be followed to actually win, and you should be good to go. So, guys, we haven't started the raffle yet. Come on. Come on. Um, all right, cool. So I'm going to start this uh, here in just a quick second. Uh, so we're going to close that. We're going to reset that. And uh, then I'm going to open it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to – so now it's open, guys. So uh, get your raffling going. Get your raffling. Get your raffle on. Raffle. Uh, I'm going to sing a little song until uh, that I can think of uh, off the top of my head. And then uh, whenever I feel like I'm done singing, that's when the raffle's going to close. So get your entries in while you can. Singing a song about a song that I came up with. I don't know how long it's going to be because I'm just waiting for people to enter the raffle. And it's looking good. Ned just walked in. I'm singing a song until I feel like I'm not done singing for people entering the raffle. 
That's cool, man. It's good. Ned, I'm sorry. That was a rough matchup. It's yeah, it's not, not the best. No, uh, was it? Was it? Spaghetti's wife and uh, uh, Sickle's beard movie number. Yep. Oh, Spaghetti's... Wait, what? Tony and the Matt are moving over. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're moving over. Okay. So, guys, with that... Um, okay, I'm done singing. So, raffle's going to end. Uh, let's... Uh, let me scroll down there. Uh, and we're going to draw. Woo! So, bang, <laughs> bang, bang not even. <laughs> bang, not even. I uh, like I like it. <laughs> great great user, Dave. Uh, that I'm gonna beard is glorious. <laughs> yep. I'm going to send you a... Uh, I'm going to send you a little message here in just a quick second. And, uh, and, oh, Jesus. Anthony. You're doing that in the deck list. Zinni? Oh, jeez. Jeez. Uh, what is uh, he playing? He's playing Bug. Shardless Bug. Shardless Bug. bug. Uh, let's announce it in chat as the Woo! winner. All right, uh, we'll see you. Uh, Shardless Bug. Okay, cool. And... And we're going to get Anthony Zinni. There we go. And we got Lance. And see, this is very rushed. Yep. Very rushed. Uh, and then Matthew Seckle. Yeah. And uh, I almost got tight. Do we know leaders. what their records are? I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just do zero, zero. Yeah. I almost got tiny leaders on camera in the meantime, but they finished up just in time. Oh, fair enough. All right. Uh, cool. So, all right. So that's good. I'm gonna go jump it back to chat. Let me um. You, you commentate on this match. All right. Uh, Matt Seckle is starting off with a turn one gamble, offering Mox Diamond pitching Dark Depths. Uh, as as much as the screen would like us to know that it's four to eighteen, it's actually twenty to twenty. We just haven't gotten around to fixing that at the moment. We're dealing with the giveaway stuff. Uh, while Matt finishes up his gamble, we'll wait to see what he discards. Um, assuming he kept seven, plays diamond, play, uh, gets discards, uh, so it should be five cards? Yeah. Uh, number three going away, which is his uh, exploration. Yep. All right. And bang naughty bits, uh, I sent you a message. Bang naughty bits. Um, all right, so we got, sh and then we got Charles versus that. What are the uh, life totals supposed to be? Uh, 20 to 20. Okay. Uh, then Matt Seckle follows it up with a uh, Wasteland. And Anthony actually having basics in his deck wisely plays around the Wasteland and yes. goes with turn one Nihil Spellbomb. I love some Nihil Spellbomb. Let's get that. Uh, uh, yeah. We're going to have to. We get, uh, gotta get Swag Tusk out of there. I'm this, keeping that because I'm This is I'm possibly it. one of my favorite. Uh, Graveyard hate cards of all time. Um, one colorless artifact that tap it, sack it, target player exiles his graveyard. And if it goes to the graveyard for any reason, you play it black to draw a card. Yeah, I, I play it in... Uh, it was a great draw engine in uh, Grixis Delver. Yeah, well, I not play, Grixis Delver, Grixis it's Painter. I played... Uh, I played them in... Uh, uh, I played I played three copies in Tesseret. You know, what's, what's the match record here? Is it... I this already game three? You. Uh, yeah, this is game three. Okay. Um, uh, really good in Tiny Leader's uh, Glissa. Yes, I would imagine. As, as is Executioner Capsule. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, let's see. You got to get... Wait. What? Did we miss a standard question? Uh. Wait. Is Doomsday playing today? No, Doomsday is not playing Epoa. He was actually on Goblins today. Goblins today. Uh, Toad's going to... Uh, Suspend a ancestral vision, and four turns he will be drawing three cards, assuming he's still alive at that point. Yes. Uh, and it does not get misdirected or countered. <laughs> My game is funny because it's sexual innuendo. Yes, it is. It is funny because <laughs> it's, it's a sexual innuendo. Like, but it's not even an innuendo. It's just, yeah, that's just straight it's just up. Funny words. Uh, FNM could be. FNM. Wait, you can play Legacy at FNM now? Technically, yes. Why don't we do that? It, it would be it'd be sanctioned as a casual format, though. How's that casual? Oh, well, I'm glad we did the raffle now, because it looks like we fucking lost. We're back. Oh, and back. All right. Sorry, guys. Comcast being poopy again. Uh, Seckle 
crop rotating his uh, his Grove of the Born Worlds into a Thespian stage. Looks like he's just trying to finish this game real fast. He's gonna copy this uh, Dark Depths there right away. All right. Look, and we went down, and now look. We have no drop frames, so we can just pretend like we <laughs> no, don't have, have any drop frames. Yeah. And we're actually stable. Yeah. Because that's what it normally does, is 14 to 17. Look, we just needed to go down the entire time. That's fine. Yeah. And our viewership just body broccled. Hobbalicious! Thank Woo! you for following. Uh, so, Matt now has a mustache, also known as Merit Leash. <laughs> uh, and is untapping and drawing, and probably going to be speaking for 20. And this game is already over. Is it? Yeah, that happens. Dink. All Dan right. Done. So, and that was the last. Uh, that was the last match of the round. Yeah. All right. So, guys. Uh, yep. So we're done for tonight. Yep. Yep. Um, again, guys, please, uh, Cathal, thank you for following. Much appreciated. Uh, and guys, if you uh, if you like what you see, um, everything will be up on uh, YouTube uh, a little bit later. Uh, past that, let's see. Uh, things will be good. I can't think of what the hell I'm saying. But yeah, everything will be up on YouTube in a, within a couple days. Uh, please like us on Facebook. We post a lot of lists there. If you guys have any sort of requests or suggestions, post them there. Send me a message on Twitch. I'll do what I can to get them to happen. Um, yeah, follow us on Twitter. I'm going to be yelling at Comcast uh, here in just a little bit. Uh, so that'll be fun. I'm going to make some sort of magic pun while yelling at Comcast. Uh, I have to think of it, and this can be great. You'll, um, you'll just send them in your ice cauldron. Yes. I, uh, I don't know. I don't want something to be construed as a threat, though. Um, but, yeah, so, no, everything should be good. Uh, guys, thank you again to MGG Card Market. They're, they're uh, letting us stream from here um, for tonight. They're responsible for the giveaway. Again, if you guys like the giveaway, please go to their Facebook page, like their Facebook page, send them an email, do whatever you can. Let them know that you're watching the stream, that you like the stream, uh, that you like the giveaways, and you want to see bigger and better giveaways. Um, past that, we will be back Monday, 7 o'clock Central Time, from Chicagoland Games Dice Dojo for more Legacy. Then after that, we'll be back here at MG Car Market on Wednesday for some Modern at 7.30 Central Time. And then again Thursday uh, for more Legacy, 7.30 Central Time. Um, so I hope everybody enjoyed the stream. And if you guys have any sort of, uh, any sort of suggestions or anything else, let me know. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you, on, uh, see you on Monday. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Cool beans. Oh, uh, have a great pre-release, guys. Yes, everybody yeah. have fun at the pre-release. Uh, also, reminder that uh, despite mm -hmm. having two uh, additional legacy events and a modern event between now and release, your pre-release cards are not legal. Please don't play them. You'll get in trouble. Fair enough. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's going to be it. Thank you, guys, everybody. And uh, I hope we have a conversation on Facebook or YouTube or Twitter or Twitch. Yeah, we'll see right. you guys later. Thank you, everybody, that followed tonight. We really, really appreciate it. Seriously, very much. So. Very much. All right, but that's going to be it. Good night, guys. Good Bye. night. Bye.